You're not afraid of the dark, are you? Don't be afraid. Come with me. <laughs> Do you want to play hide and seek? You hide and I'll find you. You're going to die in there. Don't say I didn't warn you.
Oh, I got it. Oh, sweet. I fixed. Yay. You know what? <laughs> I'm really glad <laughs> that you got... <laughs> okay, wait. I have something to tell you guys real quick. Stop it. Show you. God. Okay, here's what just happened. Let me walk you through this, okay? So, I was recording stuff earlier and I had to switch the... Um, I had to switch the audio sources, right? But what just happened is usually I like, before I start the stream, I clear my throat and I cleared my throat before uh, I unmuted and then I cleared my throat and I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I just cleared my throat like in front of everyone on the stream and I apologize for it, but it turns out you guys couldn't hear me anyway. <laughs> oh my God, this is such a chaotic day. Um, okay. <clears throat> no, I literally, like, cleared my throat, like, on the mic. It was the most ASMR thing I've ever heard, even my in my own headphones, so... <laughs> I'm kind of glad no one heard that. <laughs> oh, goodness. Hi, welcome. Uh, <laughs> welcome, everyone, to the stream. Um, I just ate, so I'm gonna be muting and, like, coughing a little bit, but... So... Just a heads up, if any audio things happen, it's Shoyu's fault. Shoyu has decided to post up on my desk right next to the GoXLR. And she's been fascinated with the little kind of um, sliders on the GoXLR. So she's literally just eyeballing it. And when I'm not looking, she'll put her mouth on it and like try to take it off. So just ignore ignore that uh volma hey welcome back for two months how you doing um how dare she be a normal cat yeah she's really just fussed she's like eyeballing it like move one more time do it uh but welcome back everybody how you guys doing i'm super aware that uh i'm like three hours late so sorry uh, if you guys check out the discord i have been trying to be more on top of communicating with the community a bit better especially if i'm late or things are changing um so if you are in the discord you will probably know that i was in there earlier letting you guys know the updates and stuff so only 15 minutes early from adjusted time even though i adjusted it twice okay here we go um yeah very sorry about that but i'm here also hey thank you so much for giving that sub uh my name is she to propaganda i appreciate it um, so the bad news is we are postponing the event with Peach. There is actually, um, tech like legit technical difficulties. We didn't realize that there would be audio lag between the both of us and Discord. So when we were trying to do something at the same time, we were off by a second and we just couldn't figure it out. And that's why we kept on like pushing the time because we were trying to fix it. And it was supposed to be today and it was just like this huge event that we had put together and it looks great i think you guys will really like it but we are going to do it in post we are going to record ourselves and then put it together and then present it whenever we're ready so thank you for being patient in that regards um so <laughs> god show you just fucking hates this little slider thing but um, the good news is that we are doing Unfiction, we're doing a deep dive into Dear David, and the even better news is that it's all reading. It's all reading. Like, it's literally, I don't even know if this is going to be like two hours straight of reading, I have no idea, but they're little, it's just going to be reading the, the, uh, Twitter posts, so they're short and sweet, but it is literally going to be reading all night. I, maybe I shouldn't have eaten before I streamed, because now I'm just like, oh boy, um, <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so it'll be easy for you guys to put me on in the background and listen in while you're doing whatever it is that you're doing, you know, playing Final Fantasy XIV or whatever, what have you. Um, we're just going to chill and kind of uh, unravel this story of Dear David. Hey Problematic, welcome back for two months. It's lovely to see you again. But in the meantime, how is everyone doing? You guys enjoy lurking, enjoy sleeping. I will probably put a lot of you guys to sleep. I'm so sorry for the, the late stream. But uh, I will try to make this as enjoyable as possible. Can you guys hear the background as well? Like, are you guys... I hope that I, I fix that. Um, let's talk about... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys didn't hear. Okay. Show you. 
You don't. Please don't. Please just lay down like a good cat. Don't. Eh. <laughs> I wish you guys could see this right now. Um, so a lot of people were telling me that they just like this. Um, the story really screwed up a lot of people. So I'm kind of keen to see what the story is and why. But um, yeah, again, be sure to check out the Discord. I promise you, I've definitely been more on top of it these days and communicating with you guys. It's been a really nice place to chill and check in with you all as well. If they do manage to make contact with a parallel universe, would you like to meet parallel Lena? No, I wouldn't. I have no desire to meet myself. Um, if you guys are taking off to sleep, have a wonderful sleep. Thanks for even stopping in and saying hi. I appreciate it. So, I'm weird. I can't sleep if I'm listening to something, so I'll be here until I legitimately go to sleep. Okay. Okay, sounds good. Whatever you guys gotta do. Um, hi, Kraken. Uh, now I forgot what I was doing. Uh, yes, Discord. We do have a Discord. I need to update the thing. It's called the Dungeon, but I, I have not updated the link. So they, there you go. There's a link to the Discord. Um, I usually try to check in before streams and after streams, and then if there are any schedule changes, I will be in the Discord letting you guys know. Because I don't want to flood my Twitter like, oh, I'm late, or this changes, yada yada, blah blah. So, check the Discord. Okay. Next. Shall we just, like, get into it? Yeah. Hey, thank you so much for giving that sub. Total knockback. I appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. This is going to be probably a really laid-back stream because it's late for me, and um, it's been a long day. <laughs> But regardless, I, I hope that we enjoy this new, uh, unfiction episode. Yep. Are we vibing out? Oh my god, it's Susie. Please. Just be sure you don't take your armpits out, Susie. You're gonna make me go crazy. Jesus. How are you doing, Susie? Hi, hi, hi. Isn't it late for you, Susie? Stop, though. Look, I can't help myself. I, I what, what can I say? Yeah, it is late for a lot of people right now. And again, it's good timing for this sort of story. But, um, okay, let's go. So my question is, do you guys want me to read, um, the Twitter posts on here? Um, so that all of you guys can see it. Or do you guys want me to read it in the deep dive room? Deep dive. Okay, I'm going to let deep dive room here. What do you guys think? Not that. Oh, what? 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 Oh my god. Uh. Jeez. Hey, Muffinology. Wow, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. You've gifted, like, almost 50 subs in the channel, man. Thank you so much. And Gartoon, thank you so much for the bits. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for the support in the community, man. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. If you guys have uh, received a gifted sub from Muffin, be sure to say thank you, okay? Goodness, thank you so much. That was really kind. Of, what a way to start off the stream. Thank you. You must really want that subathon, hey? <laughs> thank you. Okay, so you guys want to do it in here. Okay, fantastic. Um, because it's just reading. Also, how is this sound? Um, I hope I'm not too loud, and I had to readjust some things earlier, so you guys gotta help me out. Um, and the music in the background, as long as it's not too loud, just let me know. Fantastic. I like that. I like that. Sounds good on my end. Okay. Fantastic. Um, very good. Let me move this over here. Um, I'm going to open this in my own tab as well. One second. So I also don't know anything about Dear David. Not even a little bit, but um, I've been recommended Dear David like uh, like handfuls of times at this point. So there is no uh, there's no skipping it um, or looking over it. It seems like it's a good one. 
So um, I will say though that we're in for kind of the long haul with this. So if you can see, it is, it's very long. It's very, very long. So um, I couldn't begin to tell you what like deeply it's about other than the fact that it's this guy's kind of journey in his house, seeing this ghost um, and his experiences with it. So if it gets to be, I'm gonna see where we are at the hour mark and then maybe we can make it like a part two and three situation. But I, I kind of do want these deep dive unfiction streams to be short and sweet. So it's kind of like anticipating the next part situation. So um, yeah, let's uh, let's begin. I imagine it will be short and sweet because they're, they're Twitter posts. It's not like a full on story. <clears throat> okay, I guess the best place to start is the beginning. Welcome on in everyone. If you're just tuning in, this is episode three of Unfiction Deep Dive, and today we're going over Dear David. Uh, how often are we doing ad breaks today? Mm, let's do it at a 30 minute mark. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Uh, you want to hook and line and sink us into coming back for all eternity? Yeah, exactly. So it's like, I'll, I'll pick a cliffhanger and then we'll be like, okay, that wraps up the stream for today. And no killing. I'm not killing anyone today. Okay. I hate that I'm looking this way <laughs> and, that it's, and it's like over here on the right. Okay, so this is written by Adam Ellis. I think the last time we checked this, his Twitter was gone. I'm not sure, but anyway, this is like a like an archive of the whole situation that he wrote. So my apartment is currently being haunted by the ghost of a dead child and he's trying to kill me. He started appearing in dreams, but I think he's crossed over into the real world now. The first time I saw him, I was experiencing sleep paralysis and saw a child sitting in the green rocking chair at the foot of my bed. He had a huge misshapen head that was dented on one side. I did my best to draw it. I fucking hate that. For a while he just stared at me, but then he got out of the chair and started shambling towards the bed. I couldn't move because I was paralyzed. I have sleep paralysis fairly often. It sucks. Right before he reached my bed, I woke up screaming. I had another dream a few nights later, where I was in a library and a girl came up to me and said, You've seen dear David, haven't you? I was like, who? And she said, Dear David, you saw him. She continued, He's dead. He only appears at midnight, and you can ask him two questions if you said, Dear David, first. Oh, I guess I can read it on the screen. That makes sense. Then she added, But never try to ask him a third question, or he'll kill you. I was very shaken. Having two dreams about the same thing is pretty weird. Anyway, a couple weeks passed without incident. Then, David came back in another dream. Same situation. I was in bed, and he was sitting in the rocking chair near the window, staring at me. In the dream, I say, Dear David, how did you die? And he mumbles, an accident in a store. I said store really weird but we're going to just glance over that. Uh, also double checking if you guys can hear the sounds in the background quite clearly, rather than too low or too loud. You know what? <laughs> At least I call myself out and I admit my as much. Uh, you're my sleep paralysis demon. <laughs> oh, we're already getting into the flirting, Susie. Not really, you can't hear it? Okay, got you. How about that? Is that better spaghetti? Well, hello to France from New Zealand. Welcome on in. Is that too loud spaghetti? Is that just right? It has to be just right. It's important. It's just right. Okay, perfect. Okay. 
Um, I say, dear David, what happened in the store? He groans. A shelf was pushed on my head. Oh. <laughs> Good night, Susie. Thank you so much for stopping by. Go check out Susie if you guys haven't, please. She's amazing. I really enjoy her and her content. Good night, Susie. Mwah. I'm frozen with fear. I ask, who pushed the shelf? David doesn't answer. I realize that I've asked a third question, which I'm not supposed to do. At that point, I wake up absolutely terrified. The next couple of days, I Google deaths in the city, but can't find anything about a kid named David dying in a store. I even tried different names, Daniel, Dylan, Devin, nothing. A few weeks go, a few weeks go by without incident. Sort of randomly, the apartment above mine's vacated and I have the opportunity to move into it. It's a larger apartment, so I'm thrilled. Another month or two goes by. I sort of forget about dear David. I, I think he lost track of me because I moved upstairs. But lately, something strange is happening. For the past four nights, my cat gather at the front door at exactly midnight and just stare at it. Almost like something's on the other side. Last night I got a weird feeling and looked out the peephole, and I'm dead certain I saw movement on the other side. When I opened the door and turned on the whole light, nothing was there. But my cat seemed unnerved, bushy tails, etc. And that's where I am right now. Dear David found me, I think, and I don't know what to do. I'll keep you updated. Well, thank you so much for the, for gifting that subtotal knockback. I appreciate that. Oh, and thank you. Thank you for the raid, Lilith. I appreciate it. <clears throat> Update. For the sixth night in a row, my cats walked over to the door promptly at midnight and stared at it. What's going on? Oh, there's a video. That's cool. I love watching cats stare at things. Oh, he's literally just staring at the door. <laughs> okay, so I took a photo through the peephole because I'm too scared to open the door. I feel like I saw something. I couldn't tell, so I mustered the courage to open the door. Nothing was out there, but I took another photo. Look at this. Is it just me, or is there something in the first photo, right where the banister meets the shelves, hiding on the stairs? I really don't see anything. I literally see nothing. Do you guys see something? I also see dust. Foggy outline? I don't know. Okay, we continue. Yeah, not seeing it. Not seeing it, man. What's this guy's name? His name's Adam. Okay. <clears throat> I wasn't sure if it was a smudge or something, so I took a second photo from inside, and there was something out there. I don't see it still. <laughs> I dead bolted the lock and got in bed because I don't know what else to do. I can still hear my cat meowing at the door. I'm staring at it and I see nothing, but if you guys see something, that's good. I'm pretty scared. <laughs> okay, cat. 
I'm heading to bed, but the cats are back at the door. They only do this in the middle of the night, and it's routine now. So good morning, everyone. Welcome in. I'm really hoping that this gives me the shivers, because a lot of you guys said it was really good. I'm anticipating it, that it gets better. There's face directly above the banister. Really? Like, right here? Is this what we're talking about? And here we go, just minutes before midnight. Okay. Also, welcome everyone that's coming on through. Hi, I'm doing well. Maxwell's extra talkative tonight. He's obviously trying to tell me something. And they're both here now. I don't even know if this is the right kind of salt. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <sighs> this man. <laughs> Maxwell's extra talkative tonight. He's obviously trying to tell me something. Oh, we just looked at that. Um, I used a sound app to record my apartment last night. It makes individual recordings each time it hears something. There were 33 recordings. I don't know, just put some salt on the floor. <laughs> uh, most of them are pretty vague. A couple of them are passing cars and the like, but there are three that I'm interested in. The first is snapping sound and what seems like a single step. It's odd because I didn't get out of bed at all, uh, didn't get out of bed all night. Oh, okay. Let's see. What do we have here? Okay, I kind of hear it. Nice, nice. That's exactly what I was waiting for. Thank you. Excellent. Can you imagine if that was actually Dave and he's like, yeah, this is this is how it's going to be. Listen to my fucking dropping beats. Fantastic. Um, I can't. Please don't. Please don't automatically play while we're doing this. I would really appreciate that. Um, okay, what was it? Can I make that louder? I'm going to replay that. Stop. What plays next? Like, what is this automatic thing that's playing afterwards? Jesus Christ. Okay, I'll raise the volume real quick. Okay, so he says supposedly that there is a snapping at the beginning and then what seems like a step and he was asleep all night. Okay. Okay, I can kind of hear it. I don't know if you guys can. Um, I think I keep missing the snap at the beginning. My Stop. Stop it. <laughs> oh my god. Please don't use SoundCloud for this. Just use one single MP3s. Thank you. God. Anyway. Um... No, I, I kind of heard it at the end, but I'm still not, I'm not, like, captivated yet, so we'll see. Also, I have a question. Is this, did this guy put this whole thing together in one go? Or was this, like, Twitter post that was happening periodically? Like, every day he was posting, or, like, I know some people around for when this was initially a thing. Months. Okay. It was real time. Okay, interesting. Um, this one is weird because out of the 33 recordings, this is the only one that strange electric sound throughout. Okay. Um, he's a pretty popular internet guy, so long form makes way more sense. Okay. Man, how does anyone have time to do this stuff? Electric static is what he's talking about. I feel like you guys can barely hear it. Hang on. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's really, really quiet. I have everything up really loud. I'll make it louder. It's like stupidly quiet. So I don't know what to do about that. Yeah, so you definitely hear a car in the distance, but he's talking about this really, 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 really subtle static. I'm definitely going to lower this now. Um, and he said it's it's weird because out of the 33 recordings, this is the only one that had strange electric sound throughout. And welcome back for two months, Nafi. How are you doing? Um, then this directly, directly follows the electric static. Another snap and then I groan in my sleep. I'm just going to take your word for it, Adam. Uh, these happened between 2 and 3 a.m. I have no explanation for them and I'll keep recording and share if any if I find anything curious. Cutting uh, the F out of my haunted apartment or getting out of the, my haunted apartment for the weekend. Very nice. Okay. You guys said he was a big internet guy. Is he just like a big content creator? I have no explanation for this. What's this? Why is it gone? That makes me really sad. He's an artist who makes web comics. Okay, got it. Okay, well now we can't see whatever that link was. So a weird thing just happened. Take it with a grain of salt. I bought a Polaroid camera this weekend because they're fun and dorky and I decided to take a few photos around my apartment. Oh, I have that exact one. Nice, Adam. Polaroids are stupid and fun and inherently uh, sort of creepy, and I didn't expect to find anything. And for the most part, I didn't. I took a couple of my living room and bedroom, that's the rocking chair I first saw David in, and they're pretty unremarkable. Okay, I'll trust your word for it. Okay, it's absolutely nothing. Nothing of importance here. Also, welcome, Pop Poppin' Tart. Then I went to the hallway and snapped a photo. The Polaroid developed completely black. I even ripped it open and destroyed a fresh pack so to see if it was just an undeveloped Polaroid, but they start out white. I also thought maybe I accidentally covered the lens with my fingers, so I took a photo while in... Uh, intentionally covering it. The photo on the left is me covering the lens with my finger, and the one on the right is my fully lit hallway taken just after midnight. So this could be nothing. I'm not sure what to make of it. Okay. One last thing, because I wanted to double check. Here's a couple... A couple video of me taking photos. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. I was like, okay, well, you could have just as easily done this at a certain time. So let's see. Okay, here's my living room. And I'll leave that there. Okay, here's my living room. Oh wait, so it's just, that's what it is. Just him taking a photo of his living room. Okay. And then the hallway. Okay. Now I'm gonna... Could be tape on the lens, yeah. Take a photo of the hallway just to show you... What that's like. I don't think tape on the lens would make it black, though. Oh, wait, yeah. yeah yes, it would if you, like, covered it with... And as you can see, the first one has already developed. Let's see what this one does. Oh, 
I would not live in a place like that, that's for sure. That would creep me out already. It's gonna take a minute. Yeah, it looks like it's developing black. You could have put something over it. Well, he, he can't have a faulty pack because he literally just finished taking a photo and then one right after. So, I don't know. Okay, it came out totally black again for the second time. Honestly, I don't know why I'm still fucking around with this camera. There might be a logical explanation. Someone told me to take photos from farther away, so I tried that. Once with my iPhone and once with a Polaroid. You live in a house with literal meat walls, though. Hey. Hey. Uh, left is with my phone and right is with a Polaroid. The whole light was on both times. Why is it pitch black each time with a Polaroid? Ooh, I hate that. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, so that's him taking it with the phone. What? That is weird. Do you think that maybe... I mean, it doesn't look like he fucked with the Polaroid because... You can still see the, like, kind of... Hallway right here? Blackout veil? Okay, you know what? Maybe he... You're right. Maybe, maybe so. I, I like Santa Bliss's, like, logical explanations to things. I think that's why I love doing this with you guys, because you're like, Psh, this is obviously this or that, and uh, have you guys are creeped out and have you guys are not, so... So I'm looking, yeah, I'm looking at them closely, and I, I don't see... I mean, maybe he could have put it on the other side? Like, maybe he's put something there that we can't really see? Potentially? I love these streams. Hey! Black waifu, thanks. This is only the third episode, so I this is definitely something I want to keep doing long term. I really, really enjoy them, and I love kind of uh, discovering these things with you guys. I'm actually really looking forward to uh, Marble Hornets next as well. That's going to be a long one, I think. Welcome on in, everyone. Get comfortable. Uh, this whole thread has been really convoluted, and I'm sorry if it's hard to follow. I just thought... This was all weird and wanted to share. Folks have been urging me to get some sage, so I did. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> saging the hull and definitely saging the hell out of this rocking chair. Yeah, Marble Hornets is very long. It's probably going to be like three episodes. Honestly, sage doesn't seem like it'll help much, but I'm open to anything. I barely slept last night. I kept waking up feeling like something was wrong, but who knows, maybe this will do something. Sage did not work. <laughs> this is at 6.25 a.m. And he posted this. Who knows, maybe do something at 12, 12.30 p.m. I thought he was in a different apartment now. Uh, yeah, the one upstairs still, I think. Yeah, the one, the one he recently moved into. Yeah. Uh, I haven't dreamed about David in a few months, but he appeared again last night. In the dream, my bedroom was filled with hazy smoke, but I could see David sitting in the chair across the room. He was smaller this time, almost shrunken. He didn't do or say anything except look at me. Anyway, feels like a bad omen. It's been two weeks and he's still does this every night at midnight. Other weird stuff has been happening too. I've been recording myself sleeping and it picks up this weird static el electricity sound every night at 3 a.m. It lasts about five minutes. Well, I'm adjusting the vo volume. This morning I woke up to the whole house shaking. It felt like a small earthquake. I debated even mentioning that on Twitter because it sounds made up, but I distinctly felt the house swaying. 
It's just a whole bunch of small things happening at once. I feel so uneasy, like right before a thunderstorm comes. Everyone's telling me to move, but I don't have any guarantee that this won't follow me. They just issued a thunderstorm warning for tonight. Everyone in the city is talking about how weird the sky looks. I can hear rolling thunder in the distance. All this ghost stuff has been spooky, but this past weekend was the first time I actually felt unsafe in my home. On Friday night, there was supposed to be a huge storm, and in the end, it passed, but that night was bizarre anyway. I fell asleep pretty early. I was incredibly tired for some reason. I had a dream that night where David was dragging me by the arm through an old abandoned warehouse. I'm not sure why I didn't fight back in the dream or how he was strong enough to pull me, but that's dream logic for you. It was a creepy dream, but I didn't think much of it when I woke up. I took a shower and then I noticed something. I'd woken up with a huge bruise on my arm. Oh, right here? You guys see it? Good morning, no, no, oh, Emmy. Welcome back. He slept on his arm. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm still not sold on the story whatsoever. Oh, Muffinology, thank you so much for continuing the gift sub. I really appreciate it. Okay, let's keep going. Maybe it gets deeper. Who knows? You guys recommended this, so <laughs> hopefully it's something. I want him to be like, and then I woke up and all my fingers fell off. And then I went back to sleep and I woke up and then I was, I, I was sewn to the wall. And I'll be like, that's nice. This is, this is a good story. <laughs> hey, Daniel, how are you? Eyeliner. <laughs> I remember when it was going, Dear David was everywhere. Oh. Sewn to the wall. Yeah. Well, how cool would that be? If he woke up and he was just like, his skin was sewn to the wall. Hi, Liz. How are you doing today? Hi. I don't know. That's where my mind goes with these sort of fiction stories. <laughs> how can he write if he was sewn to the wall? Like maybe he was sewn to the wall and then he like undid the threading of his skin and like ripped it off and then wrote a tweet about it and then took pictures. You know what I mean? Like that's what, if I did something unfiction and I had the ability to like film well and put this all together, it'd be the most fucked up shit. I would be so down. Yeah, it checks out. <laughs> okay, sorry, we, we continue. Now look, maybe I injured myself the day before and my arm was hurting last during the night, which manifested as a dream. There could be a totally logical explanation for it, so I brushed it off. I went to get coffee, which I do every weekend. Just the weekends? Hmm. When I walk to the coffee place, I always pass a food cart repair depot. It's always incredibly busy, especially on the weekends. Not gonna lie, part of me dies know that in supernatural moment, first thing a person to do is post on Twitter. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's an interesting way of doing an unfiction. So, it, I'm keen to see where this goes. Um, I've lived in the neighborhood for over four years, and this place has always been jam packed with carts getting serviced. But today it was completely abandoned. The whole warehouse was totally gutted and empty. Well, almost empty. I went inside to look around because I was astonished that this place was suddenly empty after all these years. Basically, the only thing in the entire warehouse was a single green chair. What the fuck? If you recall, David first appeared in my green rocking chair. It could be nothing, but it's weird that it was the only thing left behind. On my way back from coffee, the warehouse had been shuttered. It remained shuttered since. 
The chair, my bruise, dreaming about an empty warehouse, and then passing by one, it gave me the creeps. Needless to say, I didn't sleep much that night. Too many strange things are happening, and more frequently. So, I, I don't know. Anyway, it was a strange weekend. There have been a few small developments in my apartment, but I'm not really sure what to make of them. I just know I'm scared. <gasps> Hi, Rolf Wolfie, where the fuck are you? Excuse me one second, I need to have a conversation with my roommate. Are you fucking home? Are you okay? I thought you died. Are you alright? I'm calling out my roommate in the middle of the stream. <laughs> uh, you're here? Oh my god, I was I was like, it's raining and it was like, it's like a really heavy storm today. And I was like, oh, I hope he's safe. And for a moment, I thought maybe that you were dead. And I was like, if you died, who would tell us? Would we know if you were dead? And I hope you weren't dead. But now you're here. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? I got home an hour ago. <laughs> Welcome home. Hi, Rofi. <laughs> uh welcome <laughs> i was just very worried about you that's all uh rolfie streams by the way and rolfie is my roommate so please uh please go check him out he likes racing cars and old people games they're very relaxing trust me oh <laughs> oh no what did i do what button did i oh uh oh <laughs> I was so worried about Rolfie and then I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> yeah, they're old people games. Yes, they are. You can't deny that for a second. Rolfie likes flight simulator games and I don't have any fucking... He's really good at like uh, knowledge about like old war planes and guns and machinery. And he um, gets a uh, flight simulator planes and he presses all these boop beep boop beep boop beep buttons and he's got like this thing on his headset and he looks around and stuff and it's very relaxing what is what is that sound is that wolfie is that you i yeah i have two roommates <laughs> has is my roommate and wolfie's my roommate boop beep boop beep and then he flies around and it's like over we're flying over the ocean over yeah hey welcome back Kim. thank you so much for resubbing i hope you've been enjoying your stay so far hi j trip sorry i gotta find my place where we were <laughs> yeah rolfie's really good at this stuff and he's got he's just got like a bunch of random facts and knowledge about things he could just go on for ages i can picture him being an old man and being like Back in my day, it was nine, it was the sixteen seventy four three two five six. A plane when the World War One in we in my day, and they fight with the AK foot foot twos in Vietnam. And that's Rolfie. <laughs> so, yeah, please go follow him. He's a good guy. <laughs> Pretty accurate. Hell yeah. Uh, okay, here we are. Here. Lena, aren't you older than all of our ages combined, though? Yeah, I'm going to be 31 soon. <laughs> but that's not very old, right? Right? I'm just kidding. I'm 607. Vampire age. Yes, yes. Okay. Okay. Back to the unfiction, shall we? Ah, Spiggity's older than me. Hooray. I'm not a boomer. I don't think 30 is boomer. Yeah. I'm 35. Oh, welcome back, Benji Co. Good fighting yesterday. See, look, everyone's kind of around my age. Roommate to the blood mother, jealous. You shouldn't be. <laughs> There's nothing to be jealous about being my roommate. Oh, you guys are all really close to my age. Cool. Hi, everyone. Welcome. Oh, my goodness. I'm 52. That's so cool. Welcome to my stream. Oh my goodness. 31 next month. Happy early birthday. Oh, I'm 20. You know what, Poppin' Tart? Welcome. Lena's the best roommate. No, I am really not. I have to clean the kitchen. <laughs> no, 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 no. Saying age in chat isn't TOS. Um, 
as long as you're over the age of 18, it's fine. And welcome everyone. Lena turns into a Vietnam War vet to promote her roommate. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, hang on. One second. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, Vopsy! <gasps> oh, oh my god, the most beautiful, beautiful lady of all time. Hi! Oh my god, please. Can we have a really big shout out for Vopsy? Oh, she's so gorgeous and she 3D sculpts. Oh my goodness, please go follow her. <laughs> please go follow Vopsy. I love her. I love her voice. She's got such a lovely, soothing voice. I like her. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Back, back to, yes, yes. Um, yes. Here we go. Okay. So his weekend. God, I, sorry. I get so distracted. Okay. Rolfie, I don't know how long you're going to be in here. Actually, uh, Rolfie, can you do me a favor? Can you take show you? Troy does not want Shoyu, and Shoyu is trying to eat my GoXLR sliders, so can you come in here and take her? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> She's on the desk. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, now that show you that, because she was laying by the XLR, and then she'll like turn around and tap tap on the sliders. Okay, yes, back to, yes, here. Okay, we're here. Okay, so he says, so I don't know. Anyway, it was a strange weekend. I named show you. <laughs> um. There have been a few small developments in my apartment, but I'm not really sure what to make of them. I just know that I'm scared. If you recall, my cats usually gather at the door at midnight, but lately it's been getting earlier and earlier every night. I was almost used to routine, so when they started to cry at the door at 10 p.m., I was confused. They began a new routine, hover around the door at 10 p.m., cry for about 15 minutes, and then wander off as if nothing is wrong. Take it easy, propaganda dog. Don't even worry about it. But this week, something else has been happening. Shortly after the casual, the usual cat stuff, around 10.30 or so, I start getting phone calls from an unmarked number. My entire call history for the past week looks like this. You'll notice that I answered once, yesterday. Since this has been happening for days on end, I thought it might be an automated telemarketer or something. Usually, if it's automated timing, if you answer once, they quit calling, so I picked up. Instead, what I heard on the other end was a peculiar electrical static sound, very similar to the static my sleep app picks up at night. I didn't say anything, I just listened, waiting for some automated message to chime in. After about a minute, the static stopped and there was silence. What? Fifi, I don't even have my alerts on the... Oh no! Oh, hi Fifi! <laughs> Hello! Oh my goodness!
Greed Raid? Excuse me? and co i i get the impression that you guys were playing apex is that right hi Mu. hello everyone you beautiful beautiful darlings welcome back today we're doing an unfiction deep dive right now it's not the spookiest but it potentially could be you were doing something. I'm not very good at Apex. It's all right. I completely understand. Did you have a good stream, Fifi? I came from Fifi's, but I wanted to say hi to you anyways. Mwah. Hi, can we get a shout for Emu and Fifi? Both wonderful VTubers. Please go check them out and show some love and support. I can't help it. I just want to kiss and hug all my friends. I love all of them. Why do people shot at me? <laughs> well, well, Apex, you have guns and then you... you you shoot at each other, and then you win or you lose. Yeah. Yes. And Ko, that's us. Well, welcome everyone from Fifi's community. My name is Lena, and this is the Witching Hour. And generally what we, wow, my eyes are like really bright today. What? Uh, just ignore that. Um, <laughs> we do lots of horror stuff on this channel, and today, we're doing uh, an unfiction deep dive. So it's essentially kind of together as a community, I'm reading or watching this sort of like creepy, non-real event and kind of uncovering it and, and seeing if it's real or not or discussing it together. So yes, welcome on in. Uh, it's lots of reading today. So if you guys have to take off or it's too late, have a wonderful evening. And if you're here to stay, just feel free to put me on in the background, put on your headphones and listen closely, preferably with the lights off. And Jim Bobwe, thank you so much for gifting that sub. I really appreciate it. So welcome on in everyone. And again, thank you for the raid. Thank you so much for bringing your community to ours. I appreciate that. And Brie, oh my goodness. Thank you so much for all those gifted subs, Brie. You've gifted so many subs. What on earth? Please just... Just relax and take it easy. You don't have to gift any subs. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. So. I kept listening and I heard what I thought was breathing. But it was so faint I can't be sure. My heart was racing so it was hard to hear. Then, just as I was about to hang up, I heard a very small voice whisper. Hello. Something about the way they said hello freaked me out. It wasn't a question or a greeting. Just hello. A flat statement. So quiet I could barely hear it. I panicked and hung up. I didn't know what else to do, so I closed the curtains in my apartment and turned on every single light. I want to know if people that were reading this as this was happening were afraid or freaked out of this or if they believed it or not. Because so far, it's going to take a lot more to get me freaked out. What do you think, Captain? I watched TV until dawn because I was too scared to go to sleep. I sort of feel like I'm losing my mind. If I look at each individual incident on its own, they're perfectly logical explanations for everything. But after three weeks of weird shit happening, I don't know how to make sense of it all. Oh, total knockback. Thank you so much for giving that sub. I appreciate it. The only thing I feel like I can do right now is write everything down. So that's what I'm doing, and that's what I'll keep doing. So I moved the green chair out of the bedroom weeks ago. It's been in various parts of the living room ever since. I should probably get rid of it, but I'm not sure that would have any effect. Also, I'm going on vacation to Japan in three weeks, and I keep thinking if I can make it to my trip. This will all end, as dumb as that sounds. David lost track of me once I moved, so maybe if he believes I've left the apartment again, he'll leave me alone. Anyway, last week I bought a pet. 
I bought a pet monitoring camera so I can keep an eye on the cats while I'm overseas. So basically, a nanny cam that connects to the Wi-Fi so you can check in whenever you want. It runs 24-7. It also alerts you to sound and movement via app. I blacked out the company since I doubt they want to be associated with ghosts. In any event, I decided to test it, out, test it out this weekend. I was away from home one night, so I set up the camera before I left. My phone pinged periodically through the evening, alerting me to the cats running around and playing. Normal stuff. But then, around 11, it alerted me again that it detected motion. But when I checked the feed of my apartment, I didn't see anything. So I watched the feed again, and still nothing. I watched it a third time and finally noticed something. Watched the chair. What if he just has it on a string? And he's like pulling it. What do you guys think? Do you guys believe it or do you not believe it? <laughs> oh my god, David's pulling it with a string. <laughs> string, tiny motor. Yeah, I'm that's what I'm thinking. I'm not in, I'm not believing this yet. So far I liked I am Sophie a bit more. But we'll keep going. Oh, I'm sorry is the steam creeping you guys out here. I can move it I can move it away. One second. Oh no. I didn't mean to creep you guys out. Here, I put this here. There we go. Is that better? Oh, Muffinology, thank you so much for gifting those subs. You guys have been really sweet today. Thank you so much. His cats are moving it. <laughs> okay. I knew it couldn't be the wind because I haven't had the windows open all summer. I have AC and like to keep it chilly. Steam was, was the spookiest part. <laughs> it was unnerving, but there wasn't anything I could do about it right then, so I flipped my phone off and tried not to panic. About half an hour later, I got another motion alert. Here's the feed of that alert. I didn't see anything. Oh, I see. Does anything else happen other than that? Can you make a bigger streamer? Yeah. Hang on. It just something fell. Was that a fly? No, it was this thing. Uh, here. At the top. You can't see it, actually. Let me move it. Uh, well, I'll make this so you guys can actually see it. I had I made it much, much bigger for the sake of the stream, so I think that's why you guys couldn't see it. So apparently that's what was detected. Just something falling off of the wall. Hi, Blue Bomber. How are you doing? Oh no, a thing fell. It must be a ghost. <laughs> yeah, so something just fell off the wall, which is fine. I guess let's continue. Um, I still wouldn't be creeped out at that point. If you missed it the first time, like me, look above the shelf. It's a little turtle shell that I hung on the wall. 
Yes, I know it's weird to own a turtle shell, but my family lives in Montana and I picked it up last year at a native trading spot. Since I've been back home, I've been too nervous to turn the camera back on and today has been pretty quiet. That said, I feel really uneasy. I put the chair in the hole. I hope nothing else happens tonight. It's happening again. I've been leaving my nanny cam on 24 seven and it records every time there's movement or sound, as you know. I was going over the feed from this weekend and noticed some weird stuff. During the night on Saturday while I slept, it recorded the cats in the living room. It seemed pretty unremarkable at first, but then after a few moments, Maxwell freaks out and jumps over something invisible. It's a cat. Cats do weird shit all the time. <laughs> oh, it's very long though. I wonder what, like, why he keeps recording. There's more stuff. Oh, it's just repeating. I see. Does the cat only have three legs? That's cute. With the green mug moved, really? I don't see the mug moving. Oh, like that seems so un like unnatural. Okay, so if we've got a mug moving and the cat seeing something, David has more string. <laughs> okay. Um, I actually want some better background, by the way. Um. One second. So much string. I don't like this either. It just doesn't fit the tone of what we're reading here and it's kind of bugging me. I'm not gonna lie, I love how calming and relaxing your voice is. Hey, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, you guys let me know if this is too loud or not, and I'll adjust. So on its own, the story isn't scary, but driving home after midnight is making everything extra spooky. Okay. <clears throat> we keep going. Hey, Rui. I don't think it was a bug or anything. Maxwell doesn't react like that with bugs. He just eats them. Something spooked him. What's more, I almost never get bugs. I've seen maybe three in all the years that I've lived here. Anyway, the next night, the camera recorded a couple more strange videos. Specifically recorded Maxwell doing this and on all off... Wait, specifically recorded Maxwell doing this on and off for hours. Okay, understood. Where's the make bigger button? There we go. Is this the same video? Did I just open the same thing? I think I did. I'm just gonna close all these real quick. This is confusing me. Welcome back, Outcast. Thank you for subbing at a tier two for three months. It's the same video. I don't, did I click the wrong one? Oh, it's this one. Sorry, sorry. Wait, this is just a, this is just a picture. Oh, I see him. What the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> I was like, what am I looking for? Thank you for being subbed to Tier 2 Outcast, by the way. I appreciate that. 
I was like looking around the ground and I was like, what, what, what am I looking at? Um, I mean, it just, it's just a cat standing. Like I'm not, I'm not quite, I'm not there yet. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know. Is this supposed to be the same night? This is a good question. This is the next night. The camera recorded a couple more strange videos. It recorded Maxwell doing this on, uh, on and off for hours. This is 12.25. And I don't think this is the same night as this. Uh, this is September 6th. And this is... Yeah, yeah, it's the same by the looks of it. Okay. He'd sit up on his hind legs and peer around the room as if looking for something or looking at something. This is odd behavior for him and I can't come up with an explanation for it especially because of the next video. Here's the final video the camera recorded that night. Okay, so it's all in, in the same night. Okay, that's kind of weird. If Shoyu was doing that, she definitely was saying something. I would be weirded out if Shoyu was doing that. Yeah, and the stuff on the table is different. So it, it seems a little weird. <laughs> Sus. Yeah, it could be a fly. Okay, so far it is, it is, we are able to kind of like breeze past it. I suppose there's a chance that it was a fly, but I honestly never get flies, so that seems unlikely. I just can't shake the feeling that something has made its way into the apartment. It's odd behavior from Maxwell in any event, and things feel off this week. I can't explain it. I've been having so many nightmares lately. They're way more intense than my usual dreams, too. And I, I don't know if it's because I'm stressed or if it's something else. This afternoon I took a nap and had a dream I haven't been able to shake. On the pillow next to me was a severed head with a bloody spine attached, snaking down the bed. The head was staring right at me, somehow still alive. It had this huge smile plastered on its face. Horrified, I screamed, what happened to you? The head smiled even bigger. It feels great. The heads groaned. After that I woke up. It was dark outside by then and everything was quiet. Other dreams have just been as strange. Things like dark figures staring in my windows even though I live on the second floor. Stuff that makes no sense in relation to what I've been experiencing in real life. After that dream about the head, I've been feeling uneasy all night. I couldn't stop thinking about it. I decided to go for a walk, if for no other reason than to get out of my apartment. I went to a bodega a few blocks down to get a snack. Sounds very LA. On the way, I had to pass the warehouse that was boarded up a few weeks ago. It's actually on the way to everything. I, I pass it twice a day to uh, get to the subway. I hurried past it since it freaks me out now. At the bodega, I got some Doritos and a seltzer and then made my way back home. <laughs> when I passed the warehouse the second time, I heard a dull thunk from the other side of the shutters. I froze in place, but there was no other sound after that. I probably should have just continued on, but curiosity got the better of me. There was a grated window next to the doors, about a foot above my head, too high to see into. So I thought to myself, okay, I'm gonna hold my phone up to the window and take one photo and then run for my life. I made sure the flash was on, positioned my camera lens through one of the grates and snapped a photo. I couldn't even look at the photo, I just ran all the way home. I was too jumpy to look at it for a while, and I just ate my Doritos nervously. When I finally did look at the photo, here's what I saw. It seemed to be a different part of the warehouse. Maybe an office? There was a bunch of old insulation and what looked like a filing cabinet and a ripped up leather desk and chair.
product placement. <laughs> I ate my Doritos confidently. <laughs> you guys are cute. I love this. I'm honestly down for these things, even if they're not good. So, um, yes. Then I noticed something else in the upper right corner, something that looked like a face. Wait, what? You are seeing things, my friend. The more I stared at it, the more it started to look like a nondescript blur, and now I can't even be sure what I'm seeing. Maybe I'm too deep into this, my brain wants to see David when he's not there. But here, I messed with the filters on my phone a bit and tell me this doesn't look like him. Be safe, weeping. Messed with my phone a bit, Photoshop confirmed. Yeah, I don't think that looks, it doesn't really look like anything. And if it does look like something, it looks like two eyes and a bunch of like tentacles on the mouth or something. Oh yes, dusty Photoshop. <laughs> I don't know, I don't quite see anything yet. Yeah, Cthulhu. Um, okay, then we continue. The past few days have been fairly quiet. I haven't been spending much time at home. I leave for Japan in a couple of hours. I've been trying to avoid anything weird before my trip. I still feel like this all might stop if I just leave for a couple of weeks. Whatever happens, I want to thank everyone for their kind thoughts and concerns. This whole ordeal has been stressful and it means a lot. If it makes me feel like I'm not going through this alone, it makes me feel like I'm not going through this alone. See you in a couple of weeks. I bought a votive tablet at the shrine that I, uh, I'm at in Japan. Please protect my cats while I'm away from home. Aww. It's my last day in Japan, Fred. Welcome, welcome, Tolk. The past couple of weeks have been pretty peaceful. I have people taking care of the cats, and they say they've been doing fine. This morning I went for a long walk around Sapporo. I never really plan my vacations. I like to wander a lot and see what I find. I came across the statue in a park, and I couldn't find out any real information about it online. But it was weird and pretty. I'm not sure where you're getting the pretty part, but weird. It's definitely... Definitely. This is not... Someone... Stop. Stop it. Stop. I'm just gonna go back to whatever this was. Thank you. Um... I feel like I'm in like an 80s horror or something with this music and I'm just gonna leave it. I didn't have time to look up something else. So we, we vibe with it. Looks like something Lena would have on her desk. I would not have that on my desk. In fact, I've got Carbuncle on my desk and some really cute shit, okay? Jeez. Um, I was taking pictures of it from different angles since it's cylindrical. I moved around to one side and almost dropped my phone at what I saw. It felt too similar to be a coincidence. I felt dizzy staring up at it. This kid with a dented head. Damn it, Twitter thread. Well, that is kind of weird, the coincidence. <laughs> Hello to Austria from New Zealand. Hi. I don't know, maybe I'm overreacting. Maybe this is nothing. It doesn't feel like nothing. Anyway, I have to pack for my flight home in the morning. It'll be good to see the cats again, at least. I made it home safely and the cats are fine, if a little more talkative than usual. Carbuncle is from Final Fantasy. It's a little, like, blue kind of fox-looking thing. 
Weird things have been happening with this electricity in my apartment. First two bulbs have burned out in the hallway in less than a week. At this point, I've just left it alone rather than get a ladder again. But the strangest thing has to do with the black light on my TV. The backlight on my TV. It's an LED strip that plugs into the TV itself via USB. The TV has to be on in order for the backlight to be on, but last night the backlight was flickering on and off by itself. I noticed it just sometimes before dawn when I woke up and went to the kitchen to get some water. I'd barely gotten back into bed and when I saw a faint light come on in the living room, after a few seconds it went dark again. I went back into the living room and stood there watching the backlight go on and off, on and off, at least for a few minutes. It was bizarre. Eventually it stopped and now the backlight doesn't work at all. It's only a couple months old so it shouldn't be dead already. Anyway, I couldn't get back to sleep so I went to the diner near my apartment. It was the only thing open at 4am. I had eggs every easy with ham. It was too much ham, but the eggs are pretty good. That looks disturbingly awful. When I got back home, the sun was starting to come up, so I figured I might as well shower and get into work early. I showered and brushed my teeth and then headed into the bedroom to get dressed. As I passed the front door, I thought I heard a faint scratching sound from the other side. It was so soft, I wasn't sure it had really happened. I went over to the door and I was too scared to look through the peephole. I couldn't bring myself to actually put my face close to the sound, so I opted to take a photo through the peephole instead. Since there's a skylight just outside of my door, the hall was awash in faint yellow green light. I snapped a couple of photos. At first the pictures didn't seem like anything, just blurry nothingness. But as I analyzed and it started, I st and started noticing things, part of a face, an ear, and an eye staring right back at me. I don't see it, surreal. Welcome back for three months. Kat, we've been doing Dear David. You you were one of the people out of like five that recommended this and was like hitting me up in my DMs and was like, please read this, but I'm not intrigued yet. I don't, and I don't see anything in the peephole. Am I supposed to be seeing something? Because I, I really don't see it. Also, welcome Kat. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to run a quick ad while we, while we do this. So one second, guys. We can talk about it while we run an ad. I like the music. If you assume the spot in the dark at the bottom is an empty black eye, then it could be a head. Where? Well, I'm not like, I, I really don't see. I'm, I feel like we're looking at a doorknob right now. Am I blind? Also, I'm glad you're here, Kat. You're on the left. Where? Like, am I supposed to be looking in this little hole? Or am I looking right here? Or here? What am I looking at? In the hole. Yeah, I thought it was a doorknob. Is this in here right here? Okay. Then... Hmm. I don't see it. So let's, I guess let's continue. I'm just going to stay here real quick. Uh, no, I'm not. I just changed my mind immediately. I think maybe it's time to get someone else involved. It's obvious that this isn't going to stop until I do something. Clean your people. <laughs> No, it's forgetting you and I both. I'm just not sure what that is yet. I'll let you all know when I figure it out. For those who couldn't make it out. Oh. Okay. I 
I see it, but the features don't quite seem human. To me, it looks a lot like the kid in the statue you saw. What? Oh my god, the people in the comments. I see nothing! I see nothing! I know, I really don't! For someone who likes horror stuff, like, I, I just don't... Like, maybe that's an eye socket? I, I feel like it's a reach, in my opinion. I, I need some, like, solid evidence here. Good storytelling capabilities. But we keep going. It's okay. Sorry for the radio silence the past couple of weeks. First, I had a friend come over to do some cleansing stuff, and she did the whole apartment and the whole way. A lot of self-proclaimed professional mediums have reached out, plus had a, a dozen Ghost Hunter TV shows. I've declined them all since I don't really want strangers in my house sensationalizing what's going on. So instead, I had a friend come over and cleanse the place, and for about a week or so, it seemed like it worked. Things appeared to go back to normal. The cats weren't gathering at the door anymore, and I stopped having dreams. It was starting to seem like it was over. And then one morning last week, I was walking to work and past the shuttered warehouse as usual. This time, all the metal door... This time, all the metal door were wide open, sunlight pouring in. The warehouse was still mostly empty except for one thing. There was a hearse parked near the back wall. The warehouse had been closed for over two months and I had no idea why it was open that day. Nobody was around. It was weird, but I tried not to think about it. It's not at all strange to see a hearse, I guess. Like, they have to park somewhere. I tried to put it out of my mind, and the next several days were uneventful. But something else happened last night. It was around 11 or so, and I was watching TV on the couch. I went into the dining room to get a drink from the fridge and noticed both of the cats sitting by the far window staring up at it. Warehouses are des <laughs> designated her <as> parking lot. <laughs> uh <laughs> the window looks out onto the roof of the business next door. I glanced out the window but didn't see anything. I figured that maybe there was a mouse in the wall or something. I shrugged and grabbed a beer from the fridge. As I went into the kitchen to get the bottle opener, I noticed something. There's a window in the kitchen which looks out into the same roof and someone was standing on the roof, staring at me. I immediately ducked down. I reached up and flicked off the light switch. I peered over the window still but couldn't see much. My phone was in my pocket, so I grabbed it and took a photo. It was blurry and dark, but I swear someone was out there. Ew, I hate it. If that's what he's talking about? Or is he talking about like over here? Because I see something right here. He said on the roof, right? Well, I, I mean, really? Because I see something like right there. Am I blind? Because I don't really see anything on a roof. I didn't see much of anything except for whatever, like a dude fucking standing right fucking there. Is that Rocky Road ice cream? <laughs> Enhance. <laughs> Okay. I tried to take a better photo, but the figure had disappeared. Wait, do you not see it? Wait, what the fuck? You don't see that? It's right there. Wait, hang on. It's li like, are you serious? There's... You don't see that right there? What the fuck? Uh, 
Okay, hang on. You guys are ridiculous. One second. I will I will brighten it up for you guys. About like a gamma correction or some shits. <laughs> Everyone's freaking the fuck out. <laughs> oh no. See, I told you. It's like I see someone right there. Whatever the fuck that is. <laughs> so I don't see anything. I don't see anything on the roof. Like he was talking about. But I see whatever the fuck that thing is. Yeah, it looks like a really bad Gary's mod model, so I don't know how they put that out there, really. Uh, okay. Uh, I closed all the blinds and made sure the door was locked and then drank five more beers until I was too drunk to be scared. But now I feel like I'm back at square one. I'm sure it was him. He's not going away, and I don't know what to do. It's been about four months since the first time I've dreamed of David. This might be long, but stick with me. Last night I dreamed about him again, and it was almost exactly the same first, same as the first time I saw him. <clears throat> oh, goodness. In the dream, I saw him in a chair again. I don't have the green chair in my room anymore. And this time it was a recliner. I've had it for years. He was staring right at me, just like the first time. Again, I felt paralyzed. I could barely move, but this time something was different. I still felt mostly immobile, but I could squirm just a little bit. I felt more alert. I could move my hands somewhat. David glared at me and I dreaded what I knew was coming. He was going to get out of the chair and come towards me like before. I had to do something. I keep my phone next to me on the bed and I somehow managed to get a hold of it. I thought, if David's going to kill me, maybe I can at least get evidence on my phone. I started snapping pictures in the dark. Sure enough, he crawled down off the chair and began shuffling towards me. He moved slowly, like it was a struggle for him. I felt terrified. But I kept taking photos. David limped closer towards me, never taking his eye eyes off of me, and soon I was face to face with him. He started muttering something, too quiet for me to understand. I watched his eyes roll back in his head until they were all white. I tried to writhe away from him, but I could barely move. I stared in horror as he began crawling up onto my bed, still murmuring something. And that's when I woke up, same as before, broad daylight, no trace of David anywhere. So Spiffy, thank you so much for that gifted sub. It's almost routine now, but it was a dream after all. So I got up and went to work and after a while, the stress of the dream melted away. I wasn't even going to write about this since it, it wouldn't really be new information, but tonight I noticed something that petrified me. I went into my phone to find a picture from a couple of days ago and saw dozens of pitch black photos in my camera roll, all from last night. It's better to show you. Turn up your brightness because they're pretty dark. That's bullshit, fuck you. Oh my god. Adam. 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 <laughs> Adam, please. Please, Adam. Come on. Hmm. So I want to know why some of the, why this scared some of you. I brought up um, Dear David a few days or maybe a few weeks ago, with streams ago, and some of you guys were like, "No, no, 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 no! I don't want to read this. It completely like traumatized me. I hate it. I hate it." So, like, why? 
why have you guys what what scared you so bad about this Yes, yeah, someone. Yes, yeah, you're spaghetti. I don't, I don't know if you're here. The person that said this, but said that you got like PTSD from this story. We continue. I asked you guys, I asked you guys in a stream and I said, how about Dear David next? And you're like, yeah, woohoo, Dear David, I'm so excited. It's so good. I can't wait. Yay, Dear David. You know what I mean? I was like, sweet. Also, if Kat's in here, I'm so sorry. Please don't kill me, Kat. I love you. Um, <laughs> no, actually, I trust Kat is a um, another 3D, uh, 3D art game dev friend of mine. And she sent this to me too, and I love Cat. It gave me a spook for sure. I still quite like it. Okay, good. <laughs> so I definitely trust Cat. Oh, Cat, please, I love you. <laughs> uh, this is the first dream I've caught since I've seen you sculpting, to be honest. Yes, man, Kablam. What do you think so far? This is quite um, a different uh route that we've taken since sculpting so and you've come back for a second time i'm curious to see as a second time viewer how you feel i'd be i'll be honest i've heard the black eyed kid stories that are creepier and those are about as effective as slender man oh. the video essay i watched about this did a really good job heightening the experience oh okay i think for me i can i like to put myself in the situation if that makes sense no, that totally makes sense. If it was just me on my own and I truly did see someone sitting on the couch or like the chair, I, I would be freaking the fuck out. Sorry. Here's what I'll say. When I'm the only one, when I'm only listening to you read and I'm walking around the house, it's scary. Fair. Also, Muffinology, thank you again for the gifted subs. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Uh, this is a neat idea when these stories can land better, but interesting, I think. I like the atmosphere of this in the room, too. Hey, thank you. I'm glad that you're back. Honestly, I'm glad. I hope that you do enjoy the future streams, because the uh, unfiction stuff is something that I'm really interested in, especially when we can land some good ones together, because I know when we were going over I Am Sophie, oh my god, you guys were absolutely just immersed in it, and I, I was having so much fun, so... And if you guys don't know, I don't know if Vizonia is still here, but Vizonia literally built this entire set by herself. All I did was like, I sketched out this really light, like stick drawing pencil thing. <laughs> Hi, Vez. And I sent it over to Vez and Vez was like, how about this? And it was, it's so phenomenal. I actually have some B-roll videos of this whole set that I was going to make a uh, edited video of, which I'm still going to do. I just have, didn't have time today to do it. But yeah, all of this was made by one person and it was made by Vez. So please go check out Vez. I need to make a command for you, Vez, so everyone can go check out your Twitter. Um, Vez is phenomenal. I This would not be uh, here without Vizonia. So thank you, Vez. Hit and miss uh, seems like the nature of these kinds of things. So hey, if nothing else, it's a nice time to just chat. I completely agree. It's I think it's another excuse and opportunity to have communication and like open conversation with the community regardless even if it's if it's good or bad so i don't mind it at all okay so let's continue with this absolutely this we've got another another kind of room upper sleeves coming soon so i think you guys will like it are you a vampire yes with wiggly ears <laughs> also dark as iron thank you uh, usually I can come up with some excuse of what's happening, but I've n bleh, bleh, bleh. The end, thank you for coming to my stream. <laughs> I, but I have no logical explanation for this. Also, welcome back, Mountain, for three months. So now I'm sitting here on my couch, freaking out. I certainly won't be able to sleep. I just felt like I needed to get this out. For everyone asking, yes, <laughs> I'm alive. I've been on the quiet since side since there's been something i'm trying to investigate i'm not sure how to, uh, how to yet i'd rather not tweet unless i have something substantial to share it's also sort of hard to explain the logistics of what i'm trying to find out but i'll do my best basically 
there's a part of my apartment I'm just now learning about. At least that's what I think. To refresh your memory, I live in a duplex. I used to live on the first floor and now I live on the second floor. It's a long boxy building that looks like this. Hi. She's me. The other week I was tweeting the most recent update from the living room couch. About 30 seconds after I'd sent the last tweet, I heard a thump directly above my head as if someone above me had dropped something on the floor, which is impossible since I'm in the top apartment. There's also no way to access the roof. There aren't any ladders on the outside of the building. The only way you get on the roof is through a skylight in the hallway. There are no trees in the immediate vicinity either. It definitely wasn't pipes either. It was distinctly the sound of something falling to the floor. My building is old and makes lots of noises, but this was a new sound and it startled me. So I'm thinking, is there some secret crawl space in my home? I look all over my apartment, but I can't figure it out. So I go into the hallway and that's when something dawns on me. There's no real way to ease into this, so I'll just say it. There's a mysterious hatch in my hallway. I've always known about it, but I just assumed it opened directly into the roof. It's really high above the stairs, so I always figured it was impossible to access without some sort of fancy professional ladder. I took this video so you can see how high it is. I see that hatch every morning when I leave for work and thinking and think nothing of it. But this time something dawned on me. It can't lead to the roof because it's actually below the roof. I'm about to spring some simple math on you, so I apologize in advance. First, the skylight is flat with the roof. I checked Google Earth to make sure. The hatch is about three feet below the skylight, meaning there's about three feet of empty space between the two openings. <laughs> Shit, I have amateur ladders in my house. <laughs> Guys, come on, can we please get through this? You fucks. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Fuck. You guys are fucking killing me. Uh, I'm trying. Okay. <laughs> Do we just throw this out the window and watch some fucking Alan tutorials? Is that what you guys want? Is that what you guys want? <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. I think... <laughs> I think maybe the hatch leads to a short ladder going to the roof, but even if that's the case, the hatch is level with all the ceilings in my apartment. And that means there's three feet of empty space all over my apartment. I was ready to explain this away for a few reasons. One, it might be some of... Uh, some of insulated space that all residential buildings have. I'm not an architect, so what do I know? It didn't seem relevant enough at the time, so I decided I wasn't going to mention it here. But, over the past week and a half, I've been hearing more things above me. A few days after the first sound, I heard a similar thump while I was in the kitchen. Then last night, I heard something small clink to the floor and roll about six feet before stopping. Something's going on up there. Maybe it's a raccoon? Maybe it's not? I also can't go over the fact that the hatch is in such a weird, inaccessible place over the stairs. I need to investigate. I'm just not sure how right now. I guess I'll try to buy a long pole off Amazon to see if the hatch even moves. I might even have to buy a construction ladder. At any rate, that's why I've been MIA for a minute. I'll keep you posted when I figure out how to get up there. I calculated the exact space over my house. I still don't think that was relevant. <laughs> uh, uh, God. Okay, so he bought a pole. Okay, I bought a pole. If this hatch is movable, I'll, I'll either shell out for a ladder or call my landlord to investigate. A lot has happened in the past week, but I was away for Thanksgiving, so I'm just now able to write it all down. The noises from the ceiling haven't let up, but the pole I ordered didn't arrive before I had to leave the holiday, so I didn't actually get it until late Friday night. I planned to investigate the next morning and went to bed. I barely fallen asleep and then I woke up to an incredibly loud crash above me. 
It sounded like someone had dropped a bowling ball. I bolted upright in bed and immediately felt strange. There was a weird energy all around me. I can't explain it. After about a minute, I heard another crash. I briefly thought about grabbing my shoes and booking it, but that would mean passing under the hatch and that seemed like a bad idea. So instead I just listened and waited. Though I'm not sure for what. The crash happened again and then again, probably 15 times in a row, followed by a long silence. Then I heard a smaller creaky sound from the hallway. In my mind, I registered it as a footstep, but it really could have been anything. I stayed still, but there were no more sounds after that. I lay back down, still tense and nervous, but I must have fallen asleep at some point because I woke up the next morning and everything seemed normal again. I got dressed and left to go get a bagel, same as every Saturday. As I made my way down the stairs, something crunched under my feet. I looked down and noticed a pile of debris on the stairs directly under the hatch. I'm just reading what you guys are saying. And before the bagel salesman? <laughs> uh, I thought coffee was on the weekends, not bagels. <laughs> Dust. Krungo. <laughs> Oh my god, you guys. We're never doing unfiction again. <sighs> god. It looked like dirt, but I couldn't tell for certain. It could have been old plaster or something. I glanced up at the hatch and noticed something else peculiar. The edge of something was caught in it, barely peeking out. It's hard to see because it's so far up, but I took a photo. At that point, bagels were the last thing on my mind. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I cannot with this guy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it does. It says, at that point, bagels were the last thing on my mind. Um... I went back upstairs and grabbed the pole. I thought he didn't have the pole yet. No, he had the pole and it arrived, but not in time. This used to be a bagel stream. <laughs> I set my camera on the coat wardrobe at the top of the stairs and hit record, just to make sure it would be caught on video if a demon burst out of the hatch. Here's the video. <clears throat> Okay, so something clearly fell. Um. I jumped out of the way and practically fell down the stairs trying to dodge whatever it was that fell. At first I thought it was a dead squirrel, which would honestly explain a lot. It hit the steps and bounced down to the first floor. I went upstairs to get my phone and collapsed the pole, since it's so long and unwieldy and went back downstairs to investigate the object that fell. At first I wasn't even sure what it was. It was a dingy, faded, and black. I picked it up and realized that it was a small leather shoe. I hustled back upstairs and texted my landlord. I told him I thought there was something in the crawl space and asked if he could investigate. He said he'd come by later with a ladder and check it out. A few hours later, my landlord was on a ladder, shining a flashlight into the crawl space. I stared up at him, half expecting something to grab him and yank him into the darkness. He angled his flashlight all around and finally saying, there's nothing up here. 
But then he was like, oh, wait. I watched as he reached up into the emptiness and with his free arm, and when he pulled it back, he had something small and round in his hand. He climbed down the ladder and handed it to me. Again, I wasn't quite sure what I was looking at. It was smooth and shiny at first, and I thought it was an old piece of candy, but it was cold and too heavy to be candy. After a second, I realized it was a marble. It was so worn that I hadn't registered as a marble at first. The shape was so short, was sort of weird with a little bump on one end. My landlord seemed unbothered for the most part. Uh, okay, dude. And he told me to call him if I'd heard anything else. I went inside and headed to my office to see if I could figure anything out about this marble and somehow made it sway into my... Okay. Okay. Just... He's like, holy shit! There's a fucking marble in the crawl space? That's what I've been hearing? The rolling? I had to investigate. What is this marble? Where has it come from? What can this be? This is incredible news. Marble? Fascinating. I'm so scared. I'm s like... Uh, I don't... I can't wrap my head around this. There's a bagel missing its marble somewhere. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. <clears throat> we continue on this journey. I had nothing to go on, and in short, I didn't really learn much, but I did figure out the bump on the marble, I think. Apparently in the earth... What? In the early 1900s, they made marbles by hand and cut them with big metal scissors, which could mean the marble is probably really old. Okay, really, Adam? Anyway, now I have a decrepit old shoe and a marble sitting on my dresser. I guess this is the new normal. Sorry for the long break. I haven't been feeling great the past couple of weeks and haven't had time to update. There also wasn't much to say for the most part. I wasn't sleeping well and I was having weird dreams, but they were vague and hard to describe. I'm sleepy all day long and I've been getting sudden bouts of dizziness. I choked it up. I chalked it up to always having earbuds crammed in and made a mental note to get my ears checked. Other than that, things were pretty quiet. I sort of fooled myself into thinking that finding those items in the attic somehow ended all this. Not that it would make much sense. But last week something started to happen. Late on Wednesday, I woke up with a with a start and felt something strange. That doesn't make sense. I woke up with a start and felt something strange. Okay. Like something had just been watching me. Uh oh, also, I... I, I uh Zanaku, I, I don't have my alerts up on this uh, this one, uh, this scene. Thank you so much for picking up uh, uh, some merch. I really appreciate that. And I hope you enjoy it. And Chablostein gifted 10 subs. Thank you so much for that, Chablostein. I really appreciate the support to the community. Thank you. Does that mean, was Chablostein like, listen, if I give 10 subs, will she just stop reading this? <laughs> Honestly, I don't mind. Let's see how, let's, let me like just highlight this real quick so we know where we are. How much longer is this thing? Ooh, what's that? Ain't no problem, need a pair of hands around the house. Thank you so much for picking up the pillows. I also updated them so there won't be that white mark on it anymore. Um, cause it didn't go, the design didn't go like across, or it wasn't big enough, so it was white. Um, so it's fixed now. And they're really, they're like big, fluffy, nice, kind of like silk pillows. They're really, really nice quality. I'm actually really surprised. Surprised. Yeah, this is quite long. Are you guys sure you want me to still keep going with this? It's kind of fun. As long as you guys are okay with it, I don't mind. And we can, if you want, we can do a part two. Yes. Captain still no. I'm having fun. I think the marble's the key to all of this. 
The fun comes from picking it apart. Not gonna lie, I could take it or leave it. I'm having a good time. Okay. Oh, hi, Ima. Can we get a shout out for Ima? Okay, let's go for a little bit further. And then um, we can either do a part two for dear David and continue with... Oh, Cap, thank you so much for the gifted subs. I appreciate that. You guys have been super kind. Thank you. I hope you, at the very least, you guys are enjoying hanging out together. That's what's most important. When you drop the marble, though, a bagel into the shoe. If you drop the marble through a bagel into the shoe, all the secrets will come to light. <sighs> and Muffinology. Oh my gosh. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. And Oblivion's Muse, too. Welcome back, Oblivion's. I know you've been here, but... Um... Okay. Yeah, I honestly, I want to get to, um, I don't know what I'm feeling with your David yet. And I know a lot of people are like, it's a very slow burn, but it gets good. But I really want to, I want to dive into Marble Hornets real bad. I think that's going to be super, super fucking fun. Like, stupidly fun. So, depending on how I feel in the next, like, 15 minutes with this. Um, and speaking of, whoa, it's already been two hours? We've been doing this for two hours. Adam, for the past two hours, we've talked about bagels, marbles, some weird fucking doll that doesn't even look real and fucking a shoe. What does it mean? <laughs> uh, oh, it's so mighty mushy. So you've heard the story. Does it get better? Can you tell us? Two hours of dust and playing with dolls. Ay, ay, ay. Professional ladders. Even the story is telling you to switch to marble hornets. <laughs> oh, I'm going to wait to see what Mushi says and then we'll continue. <sighs> Dear David's unfinished? Uh oh. Uh, I personally, I don't think it does. No, there were some bits that spooked me, but there were a few of our between. <gasps> okay. Um, also, someone messaged me, and I forgot who it was, and if you're in the chat, thank you, but someone messaged me about the particular order to watch Marble Hornets in. Um, who was it? On, let me see if I can. Yeah, okay. Um, dude, no. So when I first watched uh, Marble Hornets and I watched the whole thing like from start to finish, I, I was in my house with a friend and my friend left um, in the middle of the night. And it was Mother's Day the next day. And in my mom's house that I was visiting at the time, all of her downstairs was like the whole kitchen was filled with windows, but they were like doors, but they were windows. And I like kept on envisioning Slender Man. You know how when you see Slender Man and Marble Hornets, he's kind of like off to the side outside of the house. And he kind of just like peeks at you really quickly. And then the camera moves out of like fear of whoever's watching it. Oh my god. I, I, I left my mom's house immediately. I had my friend pick me up and I left and I stayed with them. And my mom called me in the morning absolutely furious. Like, you just wanted to skip Mother's Day. You didn't want to celebrate with me. And I was like, no, you don't understand Slender Man. Like, please listen. Slender Man. And I couldn't stay in the house. Please believe me. I was just really scared. And she, did, she didn't believe me, like, at all. <laughs> Uh, yeah. No, I, oh my god. Slender Man movie was awful. Um, dude, this is prime, prime Slender Man territory for me as well. So I feel like that is genuinely going to creep me the fuck out. Um, let me see real quick. Is there an order? Is there an order to watching Marble Hornets? 
You own them in Blu-ray? Oh, wait, you met them. Wait, I now own them in Blu-ray. I met them at a convention. That's fucking really cool. Okay, let me for spaghetti. What is Marble Hornets? Okay, Marble Hornets is a YouTube web series inspired by Slenderman online mythos. The first video was posted on YouTube June uh, 20th, 2009, following a post that its creator, Troy Wagner, created on Something Awful forums the previous day. It was one of the first web series to be created around the character, with the first episode pre uh, premiering exactly 10 days since the appearance of the original images of Slenderman on the Something Awful forums. There are 92 videos on the main channel. And the series also has 39 accompanying videos from the side channel. Oh, God, I love Marble Hornets. God, it's so good. The creators made a new unfiction? What? Uh, seriously? Oh. Yes. No, it's legit. You, it might not spook you because it's, it's very long. But for me, it, I... Yeah, it's, I mean, I also was a kid back then. I was like 14 or something like that. 15? I don't remember. So that was, that was a long time ago. Am I born in NZ? No. Um, I was born in Texas, but I've been living in New Zealand for like eight years. Who has a link to whatever they made that's new? I'd like to know what it is. Marble Hornet scared the hell out of me when I watched it. Just such atmosphere. I would in 1819? Really? Man, my, I've got all my times mixed up then. I don't remember watching it when I was 18 or 19. Really? Okay, then I'll believe you. I thought I was younger than that. Oh, you're not that much older than me, huh? Take it easy, Oblivion's Muse, and I'll see you next time. No, thank you, Spaghetti. I can't math for shit. I can do my ABCs, but math is something that I literally I can't do. Even if you paid me. Um, let's see. I want to watch Marvel Hornets in the proper order. What's the best way to watch it all? And ensure I watch it in the intended order. Just make sure you get all the two arc videos in the right places. If you find a playlist, make sure that in it. Here's the playlist I use and it's all in the proper order. Okay, you guys want to watch like one, one to, let's watch five videos. They're all like anywhere from 30 seconds to two minutes long. And then our next unfiction series will be Marble Hornets. So this was like a, for me, I want to stop because I understand it's not going to go anywhere and I'd rather it go somewhere. And I love Marble Hornets and I know that it's a really good experience and I'll be able to thoroughly prepare. Um, plus this was a really late stream anyway. So what I will do is I will kind of get the edited video together, updated to promote uh, Unfiction, which I didn't get a chance to for this this go around. I'll promote Marble Hornets since I know it's kind of like something that a majority of people do know and it will be kind of a big event. And I will stream a bit earlier and all the way into the evening so that we can enjoy it and then properly put a timeline together with how many episodes this will need to be since Marble Hornets is quite long. Does that sound good to everyone? Uh, what page is it on? We're at December 13th, 2017, and I just don't, I just don't see it going anywhere. But it was a good try, and if anyone is mad at me for, for not finishing it, I'm really sorry. <laughs> and if you guys want the Twitter, uh, his Twitter post, here it is. Okay, fantastic. I'm going to put this up. Fantastic. Uh, and then I'm going to, I'm going to put testing toe dip into marble hornets. Sweet. Oh, Muffin, you didn't have to do that. You've gifted so many subs today. Oh my God. Goodness me. Thank you so much for the gifted subs, Muffin. I, I appreciate that so much. Thank you. If we end up doing a subathon, then maybe we can just watch Marble Hornets for like five hours. <laughs> I wouldn't mind that. I think that would be lots of fun. 
Hey, I have a question. I don't know if he's still listening. Uh, so hopefully he's not. But um, I was thinking I don't want to do any new interviews or creature features until I move. But when I do, how do you guys feel about interviewing Kraken? Would you be interested in to, you know, listening to him talk and maybe perform ABCs live in front of everyone? Yes, I love cabbage. Wow. Q R S Y. <laughs> okay. Okay. Cricket. Crunkle. Oh my god. LA Streamer. Crab Cake. Krongo. Hey, the Mighty Mushy, if you have like good suggestions, please post them in the uh the unfiction section of the Discord. I would really like to see. Crikey, Cornhole, Kripkin, Chris Kringle, Cupcan, Carmen Electra, Kraken, Crinkle, Crockpot, Kraken, Crunch Bar. cry man how did the story end he went to go get bagels because at the end of the day nothing was wrong benedict crikenbatch kendall kellogg croyman crunkin crispy poor crinkle crikey cry engine three cryptocurrency keekin quiken <laughs> oh my god you guys are awful oh uh Okay, you crouton crocus. <laughs> I'm sorry. He's probably turned me off now. Oh my god. Quiken. Ooh, Quiken. Uh he's probably like, I hate you guys. I'm turning off the stream when I'm gonna go do something else. Oh god. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Clearly you guys like him a lot. Okay, so I, we're going to watch this now, but I will restart this whole like series when we do the unfiction specifically for Marble Hornet. So you and I, you guys and I will kind of like get to sit down and relax with it for a little bit. Sound good? A short and sweet anyway. It's okay if you guys like teasing him. That's what we do here. Okay, introduction. Okay, you guys let me know if it's too loud or too quiet. <clears throat> the following clips are raw footage excerpts from Alex Crayley, a college friend of mine. In 2006, Alex was in the process of shooting his student film entitled Marble Hornets. Over the three months that this took place, his film crew complained of this increasing levels of stress and irritability. Near the end of shooting, Alex halted production indefinitely and dropped the unfinished. He told me it was due to the unworkable conditions on his set, which was less than a mile away from his house. I asked what he planned to do with the countless number of tapes he had filled. Haha, ha, funny number, it says 69 on the top. Burn them. <clears throat> Being a film student myself, I hated to see all of his work go to waste. And after some coercing, he agreed to give them to me. Under the condition that I never mention it to him again. Soon after, Alex transferred to another school, and I haven't seen him since. At the time, I was too unnerved to look through the tapes and eventually forgot about them. A few days ago, I found them filed away in the back of my closet. After three years and zero contact with Alex, I've decided to look through them. All the tapes are unnumbered and missing timestamps. 
other than taking place in the summer of 2006, it's impossible to determine the exact order or date of each. Should I find anything in any of them, I will upload it to keep as a permanent record. After viewing a couple of tapes and finding nothing unusual, I came across a clip that doesn't fit in with the others. From what I can tell, the following footage takes place inside Alex's house, not the set for Marble Hornets. The audio has been removed. Either the microphone was disabled at the time or was taken out afterwards. Ugh. Ugh. I hate it. No. This was the only thing that was out of the ordinary on this particular tape. After seeing this clip, I'll keep an eye out for occurrences similar to this one in the future. My foot's asleep, I have to stand. After a few more hours of tapes, I found this clip of Alex talking while driving. For now, I'll assume that this probably took place before the events of entry number one. I got home late tonight and I was taking Rocky for his walk about uh, 20 minutes ago, so around midnight. This was near the set of Marble Hornets. Uh, a little bit farther down the road, we saw this really tall guy standing in the middle of the street, just completely still. For whatever reason, this really set off Rocky, and uh, he, just, he got really scared. He wouldn't move, and he kept on pulling out his leash to go back home. There was something about this guy that was just, it was strange. So uh, we headed back home. I have a little bit of time left on this tape, and uh, I'm going to go see if he's still hanging around. In fact, I think this is the light that he was standing under. So I'm going to have a look here. Oh, it's a little quiet. Okay. Okay, we're watching, we're starting to watch Marble Hornets, but we'll start again the next time I do a nonfiction stream. <laughs> I okay, can't Hornets really cat? see it well on the camera, but I don't see anyone around here, so I guess he's moved on. Uh, but yeah, there's just something about that. Yeah, so Kat, um, for me, uh, Marble Hornets was kind of like the birth of Slender Man. It was these two guys who were just doing a like a film together for a college project um and it's it's quite long but oh boy when i was younger it really scared the bejeez out of me so i think it will be a really fun trip um to go back and revisit with everyone i think you'll like it a lot by the way from what he describes i think he's seen something similar to the figure that appears in entry number one Yeah, this will have to be something I plan ahead of time over weeks. I'm starting to notice the vast majority of the tapes are completely unrelated to Marble Hornets. At some point, it seems Alex began filming himself exclusively. The following clips are taken from roughly 12 tapes. Oh, I, oh God, some of the videos really creeped me out as well. I feel like I would have to finish this before I move. I'll freak out. So Alex, the one that we're watching the tapes, the, the one that has the tapes is not Alex, but the one in the tapes is Alex. And the reason why there's so many tapes is that while he was filming Marble Hornets, he started to get really... Um, what's the word? Like unnerved, feeling like someone was watching him. So he had the camera on him at all times, which made him have just tapes after tapes after tapes. So right now what we're doing is kind of discovering what was on these tapes and watching Alex sort of crumble mentally over time.
Ugh, why are your little shades open like that? I hate that. That's like one of my biggest kind of like one of the things that creeps me out so much is if you have like if the curtains are slightly open and there's like a little bit of a peek into the outside, but it's dark and you can't see on the other side or window shades that are open like his, I always feel like there's someone watching me and I hate it. I hate windows, literally hate them so much. They freak me out. Same Ima. <laughs> yeah, cat agreed. <laughs> Brie, just in case. But when I've been seeing so far, many of these tapes can contain nothing substantial. Although it does seem that Alex wanted to have a camera on himself at all times. The clip from entry number one is still the best lead I have so far. Yeah, so another fun fact about me. When I um, was in high school, I was dating this guy. And whenever I was allowed to stay at his house with his family, um, I would stay in a separate room. But there was mirrors all over the room, there was like this big kind of like closet thing with a, with a mirror in front of it and a mirror on the wall and a mirror on the side. And so I had to get sheets and cover every single mirror in order for me to be able to sleep at his house. And his parents never said anything. And I know it was really weird, but I, I couldn't sleep. I had to cover the mirrors. So for many, many, many years in high school, I couldn't sleep unless there was no mirrors or they were all covered. <laughs> So, <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's me. Hi, Grim Reaper. Welcome to the stream. I've never been on this <laughs> I found another tape containing strange footage and no audio track. Oh, I hate it so much. I hate it. I hate it. Ugh. This and entry number one are the only clips I found that do not have sound. I'm starting to suspect that Alex removed the audio himself. Hang on, wait, wait. If if Kat's here and she didn't see the number two, I just want you to see this one, uh, this one real quick. Just, just for cat. It's like forty seconds long. I hate it so much. It'd be a shame if Lane got spooked to sleep and we just watched all the videos. You know what? Ha! <laughs> yeah, that one. It's like that's the one that I could no longer look out the like doors that were windows anymore. Like I just I could not do it. Ugh. Jesus Christ. So I think this whole series is super well done. Before Mabo Hornets began production, I went location scouting with Alex. I filmed him talking about the locations he was interested in using. I came across one of the tapes containing this footage that has audio, dis audio severely distorted. All right, just recording. Oh, amazing volume. 
This will just be by himself, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm thinking about maybe putting in a... Yeah, that goes through a lot of the the uh, videos, so I have no idea how loud it is or not for me, because for you, because it's really quiet for me. I am so sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to make it really quiet for you guys. Is that better? I'm scared to leave my room. Oh no! <laughs> Yeah, so I think that's the thing that's so jarring is that like, like you said, it's not loud, but it's got that right, the right kind of tone in the ears that it's kind of, it's, I can't explain it, but supposedly the reason why this happens is it's like kind of when Slender Man is around, um, but I, like I said, they're quite quiet when that sound isn't happening, so I'm just constantly having to readjust. Also, Muffin! Oh my gosh! Muffin, thank you so much for picking a mug, picking up a mug. I really appreciate it. Another coffee mug for the collection. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. <laughs> and Brian, uh, I don't know if Tim there at some point uh, are sitting around thinking of the past. You know, I'll, I'll continuously adjust it. Don't worry. It's just like when they're talking, you guys are like, I can't hear them. And then if I raise the volume, you guys will die. I really hate that sound so fucking much. I gotta be, but now I'm nervous. <laughs> no, it's like, I don't know what you guys want me to do. If I raise the volume so you guys can hear what he's talking about, it's going to blow your eardrums out. So, <laughs> I'm very sorry. No, it's not muted. <laughs> I don't know what you guys want me to do. If you want me to risk your ears being completely blown out, I don't know what to tell you. I'm trying to be uh, aware of everyone's eardrums. Uh, in addition to the audio distort distortion, there have also been numerous instances of visual tearing. I've noticed these occurring in previous entries as well. Oh, that's right, I forgot about the visual tearing. It's possible I missed other occurrences of this in tapes that I've already watched. Okay, we'll do this as our last one because it's 43 seconds. I found the following clip at the beginning of a new tape. This could be the continuation of entry number one, which took place at the end of the tape. There's no audio, by the way. Ugh. Oh my god, I fucking hate that. Oh, oh, my poor little soul. Oh, 
I hate it so much. I hate Slenderman. I hate him. I'm so. Uh... I hate it. I had to step away for a second. Came back to that. Even if what if even if it was a guy on stilts, because it's clearly it's not real. But it's just the fact that it's it's that. It's when horror movies get you right in those moments where you don't want to be scared and they bring it visually into a medium that you have to see and then you can picture it in your head. Like a long time ago in movies when they started to do the whole like lifting up the sheets and something's in the bed with you, that whole sort of like fear became more and more real because they started reusing that over and over again in horror situations. So it's it's kind of what they're doing here but quite subtly and the fact that the quality is really low makes it that much better where when you you imagine yourself in your house and it's late at night and you're kind of like locking the doors you're turning off the lights before you're going to bed and you kind of see something faintly pass in one of the windows like that's the one thing that you don't want to see before you're going to bed oh hi hoodie hello welcome on in Welcome. Welcome on in, Hootie. If you guys don't know Hootie, trust me, you're going to want to know him. He's an amazing, amazing artist. He's really lovely and sweet. He's been a big part of the community. He's always in the streams. He's also a VTuber. So please go give him a follow, check him out, check him out and uh, definitely say hello. How is your stream, Hootie? How are you? Hello. Um, <laughs> Marble's out. God damn it. Um... I want to watch that last one one more time and then we'll wrap things up. I love Marvel Hornets. I followed in the vids and forums at the beginning. I wonder if you're following the release order list they have in the wiki. Yeah, yeah. I'm following the, the actual order and I have like a Reddit page open right here. Hi, Shay. Hello. We're about to wrap up actually. I, I don't want to do too late since uh, Dear David. I didn't really vibe with Dear David. So we're watching a little bit of Marvel Hornets and then we'll start over. Definitely go check out Shay. Shay has come back to streaming after a handful of years. Go check out Hootie Who, another artist. And also please go check out Emu. She's very cute and another VTuber. I caught up with uh, E3 things. Man, I haven't seen anything E3 like at all. So I'll have to catch up with that later. Yeah, Emu is great. <laughs> yeah, so that's what I'm really excited about Marvel Hornets is that there's generally a lot of you guys that have seen uh, all the way through Marvel Hornets. So it'll be nostalgic for a lot of us, I think. Dear David is hilarious. Oh my God. Why, why, you guys? Why did I listen to you guys? Ugh. Yeah, this is... <laughs> Aw, Emu, I think you're adorable. Of course I'm going to be nice to you. Who, who would be mean to you? Who wouldn't be nice to you? That is ridiculous. Oh, dude, Kat, no, don't apologize. There was a handful of people other than you that um recommended your David. So don't don't apologize. You're okay. Yeah, Marble Hornets is very long, so I'm not surprised that you didn't finish it. So I hate this. This long shot, seeing him kind of like crawl over the Ugh! Oh, I hate it. Oh, God. Oh, the house I'm moving into has so many windows. Oh, I'm going to die. Oh, oh, I hate. Oh, it like just it like it's like inside my soul. 
and it's it's uh, and it's like in my brain. Oh my god, I literally hate it. It, it, it just the oof. I'm gonna go back. <laughs> it's so bad. Right. Oh, and this one. Oh. I don't know. This town just doesn't feel the same to me anymore. I missed it so much when I was in college. But now that I'm back. This is when they're practicing like the, the Marble Hornets uh, lines. Stuck in a loop of unhappiness. Maybe you've grown up. I don't know. Maybe this town has grown up. Maybe it has. <laughs> All right, good. Are we going to do it again? Are we? No, we're done. That's it? Yeah, we're done. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I think one more time. Where is it? It's like literally that moment. Oh, Jesus Christ. I fucking... There's, they just did this so well. Oh. Oh. Uh. <laughs> my soul just like kind of is just like ripped out of my body. Oh. If I ever saw that, I would fucking run in the opposite direction so fucking fast. Oh, God. Uh... Yeah, exactly. I, um, a girl Robin says, I love how eventually I would get tense just expecting to see it everywhere. Yup. Yup. You know what, Vezonia, I swear to God. I live alone in the woods and I've been seeing figures peering through the windows in the middle of the night like that. It was just a cat, though. Oh my God, why? <laughs> yeah, if you missed it in the next one, it's when it's, it kind of seems a bit staged for, cert for sure, but. You can see that he's in the background, kind of just standing and peering. And then Alex gets really upset and leaves really quickly. Yeah, he's right there in the back. That's the kind of weird thing. When you watch Marvel Hornets for the first time, they never point these things out. It's just going quickly. You know, and you're watching them over and over again. And then you kind of, if you watch it again... And you kind of catch them. You're like, oh my fucking God. He was there all the time. And you just didn't, you didn't really know. Yeah, I don't like it. I hate that. What's terrible is that when you learned of him, he knew who he knew of you and was now watching you. I had that idea in my head with Slender Man quite often, which is like, my general thing with things is... I do enjoy this stuff, but there's kind of a point where I let it go because I do firmly believe that, um, especially with real stuff, not so much like in fiction, if you talk about it too much, you're sort of inviting some sort of negative energy into your life. So I think that theory kind of holds mildly true with Slender Man in a way, which is why it makes it so creepy. But, all right, <laughs> I hope it kind of freaked out some of you. Um <laughs> Yeah, very much. I love that. And I hate that. It's just I really love this stuff. And it's quite fascinating. And what people do um, with unfiction and how how well it's presented. I'm always so impressed. But at the same time, when you turn off, you know, you turn off the computer and it's time to kind of wind down. You're like, oh, fuck, I'm on high alert right now because of the things that I have put in my head. So, yeah. I'm sorry if you guys needed to sleep. <laughs> yeah, people are so creative with the layers. I think the creativity is really what blows my mind. Yes, I saw the Elden Ring trailer. Yeah. Um, If you're worried about welcoming negative energy in, then why do you let Kraken attend your stream? <gasps> oh, that's so sad! Kraken may not know how to read, but he doesn't bring negative energy. He's definitely a positive energy source for the community. <laughs> that wasn't me. I didn't say that. You know what, Kat, I think if I read Dear David a few years ago and by myself, I probably would have felt like that. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> here we are. Um, well, how did you guys enjoy today anyway? I'm going to take Slenderman off of my screen.
Oh, thank you so much, Muffin. I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I want a bagel, but had fun. Okay, so when do you think... Uh, oh, Cap, thank you so much for gifting that as well. Muffin and Cap, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. So let me let me sit down and talk about schedule with you guys for a little bit. Um, tomorrow, we're, I'm just supposed to do another 3D stream. And the following day is going to be a visual novel reading. But when, when would you guys like to do a Marble Hornets? Like, would you guys want it to be back to back to back Marble Hornet streams? Or do you want it once a week? Like, what do you, what are you guys feeling? That sounds good, Mushy. Thank you. No, I don't have a hatch above my stairs. You want it to be during the daytime. Oof. Back to back would be cool. Space it out. I'll follow better back to back. A Marble Hornets is about 60 hours long, I think. Is that right? 60 hours is maybe that's not right. That can't be right. That's like a video game length. Sorry, how long is Marble Hornets? Six hours long? I don't know why I said 60. What is it? Yeah, I feel like back to back on fiction would be good. Yes, there's Elena Discord. Um, it's about 30 to 40 hours of video. Oh. Let's see, back to back or space out. Oh, travel. Why are you guys being so generous? What on earth is going on? Thank you so much for being so generous, guys. Troublestein, thank you. Thank you freaking so much. I really appreciate that. And M Muffin, Muffin, you've already gifted so many. Are you all right? Guys, why are you... Muffin, how... What? How? Muffin, why? Why? What on earth? Are you guys all right? You guys can pay for rent and food, right? Are you okay? I don't want you guys to go hungry and not be able to pay your bills. You guys must really want me to do a hoodie giveaway. All right, I'm gonna say this because we're close. We only need like four more subs and I'll give away a hoodie right now. Like right in this moment, I will get the hoodie going. Yeah? Hoodie. The one with the with the bloody hands on it. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. I Okay, 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 thank you, thank you. No 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 no. Okay, stop. Oh my god, it was just four. Just four. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, look. As a thank you for this ridiculousness, I'll give away- Oh my gosh, I, I will give away two. I'm gonna give away two, okay? Muffin, are you alright? Seriously, that's so- you've, You- both you guys. And Chabble, Wash, thank you so much for the gifted subs. Um, are you sure? I, I really genuinely feel- Oh my god. D-Man, no, we passed it! D-Man, it's fine! D-Man! <laughs> D-man. D-man. Oh my god. We, it's cool. We've got it now. It, oh, I'm just gonna... Okay. I'm sorry. I said four. Oh my god. Cap. Dragon. Total knockback. Okay. Listen. We're, we're there already. We're there. I was gonna do it at 100. We're there already. You guys, stop. Benji, stop. 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 Put... Put... Put the wallet away. Put... Open the wallet. And, and, and then take the money out and go put it in a lockbox. Don't touch it. Stop. 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 You know what this, you know what this calls for? I got you guys. 
This is what this calls. I'm get I'm getting them out. I'm getting it out, chat. Draken, thank you for the bits. Santa Bliss. Is am I saying that correctly? Okay, that's it. That's it. Who wants Yeeties? Oh my god. Wait. It's happening. <laughs> Now look what you've made me do. One for you. And one for you. Everyone's gonna get yeeted. That's what you get. So stop it. You understand? Stop that. I told you. No more. Muffin! Do you see? Do you see this gun? I'm, do you see it? I'm just gonna... I'm gonna... You don't want that. You don't want that, Muffin. I told you. You gotta pay the bills. You can't pay the bills if you give so many subs. Do you understand? Are you listening? Cap, stop, stop it, stop. What's happening? I don't understand. I don't get it. I don't, I really, what's happening right now? Wait, Muffin, what's the, the let me see the message. What message? Everything I give is after bills are paid. I set the money aside before using anything else. So you just, what? That's so much, though. Muffin, why? Dracon... Why? Are you an astronaut? Or an astrophysicist? Or a dentist? You must be a dentist. Dentists just, like... They just, like, eat cash for breakfast. You choose to help other, like, streamers and stuff? I, that's really... Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm gonna, this is Muffin, and everyone who's, who's gifted subs, we got Muffin, we got Cap, Leon, thank you so much, Leon, uh, is that PG or RPG? PG, Leon, PG, Sainty, Zinaku, thank you for the bits, dude, your waifu are just gonna put you in a ball, this is you guys, right, I'll put you in this little ball, and I'm just gonna, There! Now you can't gift anymore! Yeah? I told you to stop! God. Jesus. So as I was saying before, I was really interrupted. God. What is this? I don't know, I was like, we just need four more. Four. Just four. And you guys are like... Like what happened? Lost and confused. Thank you so much for those gifted subs. What the fudge is happening right now? Santa Bliss, Muffin. Oh my God! Stop! Please, I just need to give away one hood. Like just. Good morning, Inquisitor. Welcome back for two months. Do you do you want more Yeeties? Like you guys are already up on the ceiling. I'm not. What do you want from me? What do you want? Is it the hands? Do the hands kind of like... Is that what's making everything better? What's happening? Someone explain the experience that's happening right now because I am lost. Okay, you want my love here. I'm just gonna... Here, you can have it. There you go. Open in my wiggly arms. Here's my love. Here, take it. <laughs> there you go. I need to get rid of my fingernails on the on that model. Um, 
I forgot about the floating fingernails too. I haven't fixed that yet. Um, this has been quite the stream. This is way better than full hands, right? Oh, Shay, the new Junji Ito book's really good, by the way. I think you'll like it. Look, I can put like my fingers inside my fingers. Isn't that cool? Watch. Ta-da! What if I can do the trick where it like goes in between and then I turn it, nope, and I turn it and it's like, no, okay, I can't do that. I tried. Um, you guys, okay, you're still, I don't understand. I've stopped talking about anything important and you're still like, one for you, one for you, and one for you, and one for you, and one for you, and one for you. It's like, I don't know what's happening anymore. I'm kind of just getting really nervous. And I'm just doing stuff with my hands out of nervousness. Like, I don't even know. <laughs> Can you do ninja jitsu? Wait. Wait. I broke my hand, apparently. Wait. Yep, yes I can. The answer is yes. Yes I can. <laughs> Did I do it right? Thank you guys so much. Santa Bliss. Uh I think I'm saying it wrong. Santa Bliss. Also, I think you're still in the party for Dungeons uh, Darkest Dungeon. Um can you make an angry face? No. I don't think I can. Oh! Okay. <laughs> Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize I was still there. Yes. Yes, I can. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Inquisitor guy, welcome back. Good morning. Muffinology with all those gifted subs. Lost and confused. Draconis, Cap, Muffin. You guys are ridiculous. Uh, what is that? I don't know. I don't... Just That's it. That's all I've got. It's like... That's it. It's on a hotkey. Forgot it was there. Um, I love you guys. Genuinely, you guys are freaking amazing. I love this community so freaking much. It's always a pleasure to stream with you guys. Um, even if we, like... It's always kind of disheartening in a way sometimes when I like prepare a stream and I'm really excited and I can't wait and then it kind of like fizzles out like dear David unfortunately it's no no like harm on anyone dear David was a bust but the fact that we can all be together and we can all hang out and have a good time and have a laugh that's really I, I, I'm just happy I'm just genuinely glad that this community is what it is you guys are all individually fantastic and i'm always happy to see you coming back every stream and you know giving me another shot day in and day out so i appreciate you guys so much thank you for everything oh killer killer the vampire actually we we hired a new um video editor and someone to take care of the vods channel so within the next few weeks you guys are going to be seeing new up updates to two youtube channels so if you guys are behind on anything don't worry got you covered mm -hmm. however being happy has changed my perspective <laughs> oh man i still enjoyed dear david i enjoyed it for what it was but i wanted to be spooked and that's really important but that's what Marble Hornets is for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yes, there is a Discord. Um, don't forget, I do have Twitter, TikTok, etc. I need to get back on my TikTok. I haven't uploaded that uh, to it in a really long time. But um, I enjoyed poking fun at it. Yeah, me too. I enjoyed that we all did it as a team. So, <laughs> um, yes, you can, your waifu. Let me... Um, do the hoodie giveaway while we're all hanging out before I go and I will do two so you guys keep each other company hold your why can't I do my hands hands no oh, it's like dead now <clears throat> yeah we're doing the hoodie giveaway I was gonna do it at 100 but you guys kept going so um 
Oh, well, Mushy, you said that you had already read through it. So, of course. Thank you for simply existing. Oh, my God. You too, Pizonia. <laughs> oh, Hootie. Don't give me away. Yeah, TikTok is a thing. Wait, what? Where's Ho is Hootie going? What? Someone says, is the giveaway for subs? You know what? I'll do one for subs and one for non-subs. How about that? Because I'm feeling like a gracious blood mother right now. No, Hootie. Oh. And don't... Oh, oh my god. That's your joke, Hootie Who? That's your joke? Someone ban Hootie, please. Oh my goodness. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Hoodie. Here we go. I will do this one for everyone. And this one will be five, five, let's do, let's do like three minutes long. Yeah. Hi, Gargoyle. Um, hoodie, non-sub giveaway. No, it was funny, Hootie. I'm just teasing you. Why are my arms not working anymore? <laughs> okay, I have picked up the hoodie. Let the raffle begin! Exclamation point raffle! This is for everyone and is not subs only. If you want a chance to win a hoodie, all you have to do is type exclamation point raffle. Now, while I am doing this, I will run an ad. Wow, look at you guys go. Woo! This is open to everyone. Look at you guys go. Even the lurkers were like... Hoodie. <laughs> Goodness me. Oh, Benji Code, thank you so much for continuing that gift sub. I appreciate it. Spaghetti, don't you already have a hoodie? Look at you guys go. Look at you, all, all the... All the lurkers coming out. Okay, let's see. Also, I'm curious to see how far we are away from unlocking another emote. Just out of curiosity. Right now, we're doing a hoodie giveaway to both subs and non-subs. It's everyone, so all I have to do is type exclamation point raffle. That's it. Oh, we're 200 subs away from unlocking an emote. Cool. I'll shoot for that uh, the next few weeks. Wonder if we can do it. All right. Let's see what the time is at. We've got 136 people in. You guys have 50 more seconds. 50 seconds. 50 seconds. There's only 200 people a part of this. It's true. 95 more and you guys get a guaranteed subathon. And I think I might do it unlocked. I don't know if I want to cap it at 24 hours, but we're doing something special. If we do a subathon, I will be sleeping on the stream. Ooh, woo, sleeping Lena. Sleepy Lena on the stream. We have a setup for it and everything. You guys want to see me sleep? Well, we got to get that subathon unlocked now, shall we? Or don't we? Not shall we. Same thing. Yeah. Sweepy. And I'll put my headphones on and I'll post up here on the floor and I will <laughs> sleep with arms? No. No, it's not a challenge muffin that's not at you. Oh my god. All right. And time's up. The winner of the hoodie is... Demon of Daddy. Can I have a Demon of Daddy? 
up in the house who where are you demon of daddy demon of daddy can you at me in the chat demon of daddy where are you demon of daddy oh acorn thank you so much for gifting that sub demon daddy do, do i see demon daddy where is he did he already answer i can't see there's i don't demon daddy that day it's me all right demon of that day can you please private message me on discord right click my name on discord or twitter and give me you have to give me your shipping details if you're not comfortable with that completely understand but there's got to be a way for me to send you your prize i've already sent uh, akame their pillow so just you need to private message me and i will give you your hoodie right away Congratulations on winning that hoodie. Yay. Okay. Now, this is up to you guys. Do you guys want me to give away a mug or a hoodie? And this will be subscribers only. What do you think, subs? Do you want a mug or a hoodie? Oh my god. Okay. Pull. Pull it. Okay, there's the pull. <laughs> and while we have the pull, I'm going to eat this Oreo. Robotnix, I like your name a lot. Thank you so much for willingly providing me with some of your blood. I hope you enjoy your stay and welcome to the community. I like to open my Oreos and eat the one with the icing first. Okay, you guys want the hoodie more. Got it. Mm. I talked to the Discord and you guys said for me to wait until I move in to announce the new merch. It's a double stuffed Oreo. Um, I don't know if you can whisper. Um, a demon of the day because I have my whispers turned off. If there's any way you can message me privately, that would be fantastic. Because I used to have people that would whisper me while I was live streaming, um, telling me the endings to the games I was playing. So no longer whispers are open. Okay, next giveaway. <laughs> it happens as a streamer. Alright, so hoodie giveaway. Here we are. Sub hoodie giveaway. Permission subscribers only. Tasha. Oh my gosh. Okay, sub hoodie giveaway. Let me pick up this uh pick up the hoodie. You always have to buy the product first before you give it away. So one second. Staying hydrated. second everyone hold your hands everyone tell each other a good story this one time at band camp oh oh boy Okay. 
Okay, ready. Now I will open it for three minutes. Now this is subscribers only. And it is a hoodie because it won over the mug. And it is open. So type exclamation point raffle. Oh, Chapelstein, thank you. You have to be a sub. It is a sub only giveaway. Exclamation point raffle. See if I can do another ad. I don't think I can. Oh, three, so oh, oh, I'm gonna do another ad. Oh, it won't let me. Oh, ha ha. Suffer, suffer with all the ads. <laughs> you guys are like, oh, Lena streams, she's cool and all, but God, she's constantly playing ads. Oh, God. You guys have one minute and 40 seconds left. Honestly, I'm, I am I kind of prefer it when people... Oh, thanks, Soul. You rock, too. I prefer it when people um, run ads because what I found to be really annoying, Twitch has made it really certain that when you go to people's Twitch channels, they always have pre-roll ads. And I just want to see the stream. I just want to see, like, what are you playing? What are you working on? What are you up to? And I, I just hate... I, like... I hate it's not has nothing to do with the streamer, but if there's pre-roll ads, there's like a 50% chance I'm just gonna click off of it. Like I can't. I I wanna see it now. <laughs> so I think if you get in a habit of running ads every hour, the pre-roll turns off. So that's that's better. Yeah, your waifu, it's really annoying. Unskippable 30 second ads. Ugh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The pre-rolls are very long. Yep. Yeah, yeah, Sintra, exactly. All right, guys, has everyone typed exclamation point raffle? You have 30 seconds and only 90 people have entered. Are you sure? There's a high chance of someone winning that wants to win. Yeah, get Twitch Turbo. It removes the ads. Or if you subscribe to the channel, there's no more ads. All right, guys, you have 10 seconds until we pick a winner. Three seconds. The winner of the... Emu, I'll open it up for you. All right, Emu, type exclamation point raffle. Just for you, Emu. Hurry up, hurry, hurry. Oh, exclamation point raffle. Quickly, just for you. Welcome, Ted. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to the stream, Ted. Thank you for the raid. Are you ready? We're about to announce the winner. So in light of the beautiful, delicious raid from Ted, the winner is... Death McCloud 582. Paging Death McCloud, Death McCloud, paging Death McCloud. Death McCloud has won a hoodie. Death McCloud. Congratulations, Death McCloud. Waiting for Death McCloud to answer in the chat. Picklebrain, you have a wonderful sleep. Congratulations! 
Wow, he says. Death McCloud says, wow. <laughs> Congratulations on winning a hoodie. Thank you so much for being a part of the community. I really appreciate that. So far, he has just said, wow. That's it. <laughs> you know what? If you're a lurker and you don't want to say anything else, it's fine. Death McCloud, don't do oh, Twitch whispers. They are, they are off. Um, please be sure to DM me on either Twitter or Discord with your place of point that you want, the place that you want me to send it. I do need an address, so let me know. Man, a few words. Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious me. Okay. Um, with that, with that. Um, what kind of stream? I feel like I want to throw you guys over to Troy. He's still modding Skyrim. Do you guys want an like easy breezy Skyrim raid? Or do you want to hang out with Erex, who's watching E3 stuff? He's been streaming for like seven and a half hours. I don't know if he's going to continue. Already watching Has in another tab. How many of you guys want to go over to Troy? Has versus RPG is a very relaxing streamer who is working on Skyrim mods. Arex is doing a subathon. He's doing a subathon? Maybe we should. Has. Okay, Skyrim sounds better, honestly. Okay. Wait a second, though. Going to Has? Arex has my vote. For his new baby! No, I'm so sorry, Troy. We have to... We'll raid Troy another time. He's he's literally about to have a baby. Like, like at any second, his wife is going to baby. Like, I don't even know why I said it like that. His, his wife is pregnant, and literally any second, she's going to have a baby. She's going to make the baby. Okay? It's really important. It's really important that we go support all the love that you guys are showing my, to me. I don't have a baby. Okay, he is gonna have a baby. So if you don't mind, please support Irix. They are literally about to have a baby. So go support him, show him some love. Can we put for the raid, um, for the raid uh, thing? Uh, can we put, does the baby have levitate? Put, does the baby have levitate? Or you can put, she's going to baby. She's going to baby. Either one of those. Okay, spam it. Say hello. Go give him a follow. He's just an excellent... He's a good friend of Kraken. So if you like Kraken, you like Irix, go check him out. Go say hello. Look, tomorrow I will usually raid Haz, but he I forgot he's, he's going to have a baby. Okay? So let's go over. Let's say hello. Let's go support him. Let's give him baby love. Love and support. All right, I'll see you guys probably tomorrow. Good night, everybody. And take it easy. Mwah! Going to baby. Good night, you guys. I will see you soon. If anything changes in the schedule, check out the Discord. I will let you guys know. He's gonna baby. So support the new baby in the world with Twitch love. Baby time. Goodbye. Mwah. Support baby. She's going to baby. <laughs> I love you guys. Take it easy, everyone.